All right, everyone, we are live. Welcome to a certain point of view. Uh, welcome back uh, here to the channel. And we are live for a uh, a little bit of a random stream here for, for POV. We don't typically do Thursday main show streams, but we're here because we're, we're doing something special for a lot of people who are looking to join the league in the show now. We're doing a, a rookie draftee special, if you will. We're going to spotlight a number of rookies tonight, uh, and we're going to allow them some time in front of the camera, in front of the league community, you guys, uh, managers, if you are watching, to promote themselves and and let them know why they should be drafted. Um, we do have some questions set out for them, um, and, and we're going to put them to the test a little bit. And it's short segments, 10 to 15 minutes for each of them. They're getting straight to the point, and just like a uh, just like the audition videos, you got to make it. got to make it quick. You got to prove yourself in a quick, small make amount of time. Count. Make and it we're count. gonna we're gonna get that going. So, but before we get bringing our first guest, like the crew is here. The four of us are here. Um, and uh, how, how's everybody doing on this Thursday evening? Everybody have a good day at work? It's my Friday. <laughs> ah, lucky. Jelly. Jelly. My, my work right now is reading books. So Molly's like, every day is my Friday. Every day is my Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was I was funny because I was watching the intro video. Molly's background's like a Pokemon. It like evolves. It evolves, like, doesn't it? I know. It, you, I mine, too, mine went from a gray wall to this. <laughs> You have mine's, now have me on light. Yeah, yeah. I just don't change. Watch. Joe's going to come and it's just going to be like, flash, 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 just all over. And we're going to be like, all right, tone it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So before we before we bring our first guest, because we, we do have to get moving, uh, it, what, what are we looking forward tonight? What are we looking forward to with these rookies? Or is there something that you specifically are you looking for in these uh, incoming rookies that you're like, okay, this person either has it or they don't have it? That's I want to see passion. Yes, I want that spark. We need to see that spark in you. But also just uh, like a, a certain level of cockiness is always good too. <laughs> just just put it out there. I mean, you have you have to act like you're a wrestler playing trivia, so that makes sense. Hey, it worked out for Ben Bateman with that cockiness. It could work out for you too. <laughs> exactly. All right. Sorry, ben. Throwing Sorry, ben, make it, Make it, you make it. <laughs> Personally, I'm fond of a good accent, which it plays oh. into. Oh, oh let, wait, yeah. let's wait. Let me just nice segue, Brian. Let's go ahead and bring in our Welcome. first guest here. Um, our first guest has been making the rounds a little bit on the Facebook group. Um, he's been making his rounds here on uh, some of the, the fellow after shows, and that is Mr. David Campbell. What is up, sir? I'm getting emotional. I'm getting emotional. That segue was just too good. Uh, I don't feel. <laughs> Anything, anything else that happens tonight can top that. That was magnificent. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, uh, welcome. Welcome to POV and, and the chaos that is the view crew uh, with the chat and everything like that. And I know that we only have a short amount of time with you and everybody else coming after. So we're going to get straight to the point here. I want to want to start off a little bit by just uh, you kind of letting our viewers know who you are, your history with the Schmodown, your history with movies and trivia, and then also what league you're going to be venturing into if you do get drafted next week. Yeah, um, I am David Campbell, 24 year old. As you might have guessed, I am from Glasgow in Scotland. Yeah, across the pond, you know, just yeah. a, stone's, a stone's throw away um, over here. Um, I am a recent graduate of the University of Glasgow, studied English uh, literature and film and television over here, um, and now trying to make it in the magical world of film and television, um, you know, writing scripts, making movies currently um, in post-production on my first feature film. Uh, so oh, that's congratulations. Ah, oh, congrats. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, Janis Joplin would say, taking another little piece of my heart as to what that movie has done. <laughs> uh, <Cute>. so, <laughs> um, but my history of the Schmodown, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, I doubt anyone um, in this draft has been a bigger fan of the Schmodown uh, than I. I've been watching since season three. I've watched every match since then and I've been, you know, patiently waiting in the wings, been a fan this full time and I'm ready to break in and play in this game that I love so much you know, um, and to finally be a part of it. Um, I've been pinching myself ever since I got that email from Christian Harloff. I was like, oh my God, like, what, <laughs> what, what is going What is going on? What is going on? Um, yeah, that's that's been my history of this down. Just been a massive fucking fan since day one. Can't... Love it. <laughs> I love it. it. Yeah. I love, love the, the emphasis uh... there. I love the emphasis there. Yes. <laughs> love, to, love to see an old school fan. Yeah. I know. We love to see that here. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, why don't we start off with Molly? Do you have a question for David? So my question 
uh, is so you, you're a fan of the Schmodown, so you you pretty much know the wheel slices pretty well. Yeah. At this point, is there a particular wheel slice that you're just like, please, please, please land on that because it's your favorite, or you're really good at it, or yes, either one. Yes, there is, Molly. Yes, there is. Am I going to name that on this show? No. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a fan of the Schmodown. I know that's a, a very silly thing to do. Um, what I will say, though, is I know what my strengths are and I know what my possible weaknesses are. And I've already started working in preparation to try and shoot up those weaknesses, to try and work in a strategy where I, to play a match tomorrow, I already have an idea of what I would put on the wheel for any given opponent, mm. you know, and I think that's important. You can't just play to your strengths and weaknesses. You need to work out what your opponent's strengths and weaknesses are. And the benefit of me is, you know, the, and for some managers, it might be an issue. There's not a lot of tape on me, uh, you know, from fan leagues or etc. But see if there's too much tape on a person, you better believe I'm going to use that tape, wrap it around their mouth and nice. shut them up when I'm yes. using them. Using Yay. the weaknesses that I've gathered from watching them. Because I've said it before, I'll say it again, no one is going to prepare harder than me for a match. No one is going to work harder than me to win a match. Because I'm all smiles. I'm a fan of the game, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't be coming into this league if I didn't think I could come in and make an impact. If I didn't think I could come in and win. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. So, Molly, thank you very much for an incredible question. But it's a question I am going to politic my way out of. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, in, instead of answering that particular question, is there a slice on the wheel that you enjoy watching other people answer questions for? Yes, animated. Um, animated. Because a lot of the competitors just seem to absolutely despise it. And seem... <laughs> And in a very sadistic way, seeing the this, look of fear and one. terror. Yeah, <laughs> just seeing it's really the terror good. on their face. Really good. <laughs> There's ever an animated division. Watch I out. Just, you know, it was Sam Levine. I couldn't believe it. Like, every time I was like, surely you've watched animated films by now. But no, he never seemed to. It was just like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> I was like, surely, surely you've made an improvement. But animated is always fun, especially for a certain breed of Schmodown competitor to watch them try and wrestle with. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Uh, Mr. Brian. So I would like to know which manager do you think you would mesh with the most? Oh, I think or would a... work well, work well with your uh, movie knowledge, maybe like, yeah, you know, first like of that. First of all, my friend, I'm in a, I'm no position to rule anyone out. So I want to make sure any managers that are listening know I'm willing to work with answer. absolutely Good. anyone. Um, but I think there's a lot of things, you know, that different managers can offer me. For example, I'd love to go for a beer with Kaiser. Um, and on top of that, he's It's right. a good time. I can confirm it is a good time. To grab a that would be manager. an absolutely a wonderful time. Can you imagine me and him sharing a, a, you know, a bottle of scotch? That would be absolutely oh my, fantastic. That is, that I like that awesome. it's not a glass. You said a bottle. Sharing a bottle. <laughs> two bottles. Two bottles. All right. Let's just go. raise the bar. Um, <laughs> and, and he can pick up the tab as well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, apart from that, I think, um, you know, there's so many things different managers can offer in the game. You look at the in-game management uh, of Roxy Stryer. You look at the family dynamic that certain managers like Shannon and Winston have fostered. You look at the in-game ex the game experience of a player like Sam Levine. You know, there's, there's so many things that different managers can offer me in this league. And I'm not closed off to anyone or working with anyone or not recognising the different strengths that different managers and factions have. And it also comes down to what players they have in their faction. You know, there's so many players that have played in this league for, uh, for past and present that I'd be willing to learn from um, and work with to try and improve my own game. Um, so that's very exciting to me as well. Um, but yeah, I'd work with all managers and I think there's there's lots of things that I could do with each of them that would be slightly different. Fair Beautiful. enough. Beautiful. Um, all right, final question from uh, Miss Jill. Uh, yeah, I want you to pull out your best Mark Ellis and quote the entirety of the round one rules. I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not make you do that. <laughs> round one is as follows. No, yes! <laughs> that's good yeah, enough. That's good that's enough. enough. Yeah, I, I can give props on that. <laughs> um, mine is, what is something about you that makes you stand out from all these other new rookies, even competitors that are currently 
competitors? What makes you stand out? What makes you different that you think managers would go, oh, yeah, I like this. Besides and the accent. Besides the accent. You can't use the accent. That's a cop out. I think, listen, I think, um, I think there's a lot of players who might not be able to put their ego at the door, you know, and they can't see the, the woods through the trees, so to speak. I'm coming into this league to make an impact myself and to win matches myself. But for me as an international competitor, winning the faction championship is what's important. And what managers need to understand is that I will go above and beyond uh, to make sure that whatever faction I'm on is in the strongest position possible to go on and do that. So if that means, you know, spending nights training with certain members of the faction, trying to hone up their weaknesses, you know, learning from their strengths, working together to try and foster an environment that's going to create a championship winning team, that's really, saying it right now, it gets me goosebumps. That gets me excited. That makes me motivated. You know, and I think that's what it is when you're drafting me. You're not just drafting a guy who's going to play some matches, get you some wins, which, you know, I'll guarantee, you know, look at this smile. Can you not trust me? Come on. All right. But I'm also a guy who's going to take it very, very seriously in terms of making sure whatever team I am on will be the team that is standing tall at the end of the season. Because quite frankly, fuck everyone else, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Love it. All right. All right. Well, before we uh before we let David go, does anybody have any final comments or questions for him? Yeah, I, I, you're just a peach. Can I keep you? I, <laughs> yeah, I, I love the attitude. I, I love do. the attitude. Listen, you can't keep me for too long. It's quarter past two in the morning over oh, here. No, oh, no you're good. Right. Child. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you're good. Well, well, David, uh, I do want to thank you Wait, so much. Are we not asking there. our seg our main questions of our like what we're known for? Our candy question. Uh -oh. Are we avoiding this? Oh, oh, okay, quickly. I guess we can do that quickly. My bad, my bad. Uh, we have a question here on the show that we always ask our guests. Uh, okay. Favorite movie snack and favorite candy? Oh, favorite movie snack. Right, it can't be anything too noisy. We have Tango Ice Blasts over here in the UK. I don't know if you have the same thing, but that is something. You go to the cinema, you get a Tango Ice Blast. All right, and it's also a really good hangover cure. Uh, in terms oh, of favorite candy... I, I need me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of favorite candy, we have a brand called Haribo over here. I don't know. Oh, Haribo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, like gummy bears and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God, they're incredible. Right. And, <laughs> you know, I would go through about 10 packs a day and I probably need to stop. Uh, it's an issue. If anyone can support me out there, please offer it um, to get off my Haribo addiction. Um, but yes, Haribo would be the answer to that Love one. Love it. All right. Uh, perfect. Perfect. Well, David, again, thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out, and uh, no good luck. Good luck to everything over the next couple of weeks. You know, mm -hmm. thank you very much for the opportunity to come on uh, and good luck to the rest of the rookies uh, coming on. Follow this. All right. See you later on. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Good luck. Go to sleep. Bye, good night. <laughs> Go to bed. Oh. It's late. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Good. And when when he jumped on, he actually said that that was the earliest in the morning he has done a show uh, period so far. So. I mean, to, but to his credit, it shows how dedicated he is to this. Yeah. That he's yeah. up until two o'clock in the morning to be on here for even that short bit of time, just to tell the managers who I know are watching. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice um. All right. So we do have to keep the ball rolling. We have our next guest who is waiting. Um. So let's go ahead and bring her on. Uh, someone that I don't really know a whole lot about, but we have heard her name a little bit, and that is Miss Jessica Schloth. I want to say her name is. Last Schloth? Name? Hi, oh, it's Schloth. 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 Like, Thank you. No one ever gets it right. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're in the same boat as me, so don't. I, I, yeah. I, it's the Italian name. I can get your name. Of course. Yeah. Schloth. Well, Schloth. welcome. Welcome. Hello. It's kind of a running joke with my family. Um, our favorite animals are sloths because <laughs> people mispronounce our last name, sloth, <laughs> and so it's like sloth. And so, yeah, me and my mom like have a ton of them just Thanks around the house. Oh my God. <laughs> nice, Love nice. It. That's my Love favorite it. animal. Um, oh. Well, I know you were sitting there in the back in, in the backstage uh, listening to the questions that we had, so uh, I'll just start it off quickly here. Um, a little bit of history about yourself uh, with movies, trivia, maybe the Schmodown as well. And then uh, what division that you would like to enter if drafted uh, in the next few weeks? Um, well, the first thing I should say is uh, singles, because I will forever be single. So, no, no. <laughs> um, but, Woo, you know, preach. <laughs> it's so much fun. Don't say um, that. Yeah, no, but uh, I started watching the Schmodown probably like my sophomore year of college. So 
few years ago. I just graduated actually from Florida State in 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. So, joined some of the, you know, Schmodown greats. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just have been watching for a while and I've been to two live events. So um, I kind of, I've dragged my family there for the Orlando one. There we go. And then my birthday celebration was uh, in Atlanta. That's oh, oh. Cool. Oh. the Atlanta one. Yay, Atlanta. <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember me making you do the chop, but. <laughs> Florida chop, like the, oh, no, the, the Braves chop. The Braves. The Braves. Oh. Yeah. Florida yeah, State like, Seminoles. Florida State Seminoles. Oh, yeah, they do it too. Yeah, That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, I've been watching for a while, got into it. Um, I'm kind of like alone. I feel like you guys have people to watch it with. And it's like my thing. My family's like, oh, Jessica watches the Schmo down. And I was like in quarantine watching it. And my dad would always be like, why don't you do that? Like, <laughs> you should be on there. And I was like, you don't know how this works, dad. Like, it's not <laughs> happening. And not yet here I am somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, not, and I'm also kind of unique, I suppose, in that I'm not a YouTuber and I'm not, I didn't do any fan league matches, so I'm not from that either. So I'm kind of like an anomaly here, I guess. You've got you've got that that mystery factor. Yeah, it. there's. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, Brian, I'll I'll shoot it to you first. Uh, if you have a question for Jessica, sure. Um, who is someone that you feel manager wise that you would work best with? Okay. Well, I think it would be kind of interesting to. Because I'm a female, so uh, female managers kind of seem interesting to me because I think I would work well with that. But I don't want to exclude the other wonderful gentlemen that service uh, <laughs> managers. I'm not excluding you, but yeah, um, I think, yeah, so like Kate, Roxy, Shannon all seem really we love awesome. That's fair. Down, that's for sure. It, it's hard. It's it's hard to go against someone like Shannon, Roxy, or Kate, especially the yeah. way Kate's coming into this year as well. It's, Shannon, it, it, it's, it, it's hard to vote against them for anybody. Um, Molly, do you have something you want to ask? Uh, yeah. So you don't have to give away any of your strengths, but is there a particular slice on the wheel that you prefer, or like a particular? genre of movies that you uh, are more geared towards? I'm, I'll give away one just to say, because um, I don't know, some people know. My age kind of gives it away. I'm 22 years old, so I kind of grew up in the um, the rage of all the young adult uh, yes. novel adaptation yes. movies. And yes. so like, every time those have come up the past yes. season, I have like loved it crushed it oh, like wow. <laughs> you just went Pew! on my love list. It. I, I, I do have to ask because of these three are are you a twilight fan oh of course oh, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> oh yeah of course like the baseball scene is like iconic Cinematic. cinema <laughs> iconic, history, iconic cinema history. The, the muse song behind it too oh, it's perfect yeah. <laughs> but um <laughs> randomly met Ashley Green and she's like only known for uh, Twilight basically. Nice. <laughs> I met her in like fourth grade when I was like in my awkward phase and I have a photo with her. Oh, <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. That's so awesome. That's awesome. Uh, all right, Jill, I'll shoot it to you. Uh, question for Jessica. Yeah. So what is something about you that is something to brag about? Like something that makes you stand out, something that's different, something that would get people talking about you? What's what's something you can give us? Um, well, a couple of things I guess would be that I am very young and a female, like there's a lot of young players who are male, but there's not that many, like Sabrina, but I don't know. Sabrina, and so- yeah, Emily, yeah. Emily, yeah, there's not a whole lot, yeah. <laughs> and then also I am a graduate student right now. So I'm very good at studying. I got straight A's last semester. Um, oh, congratulations. 
and I'm going <laughs> for uh, my school psychology degree and I'll be an education specialist. So I'm basically learning how to, you know, how people learn, how the brain works and all that. And I think it's something unique. I could, information I could bring into the faction to share yeah. with that. That's a different yeah, type of that mind. Is, it sounds like a different type of studying. Ben Bateman, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at, Ben Bateman? With your 60 days. Where are you 60 at, ben? Days. Where are you at ben? With your 60 days. Uh, I do want to bring up this comment, uh, which is pretty funny. Kate will rifle through your purse during matches. You've been warned. <laughs> from Kaiser himself. Hey, I'll speak for someone who was in the den last season. She gives you goodies from her fanny pack. So mm. just going Love say goodies. Uh, look, at Ben just literally said the exact same thing. Thank you, you Betsy. Did. I got my fellow den mate down here. She gives you goodies. There you go. There you go. Um, all right. So to wrap it up, um, we do have our famous POV question here before we let you go, Jessica. Uh, what What is your favorite movie snack and what is your favorite candy, if any? Okay, well, I've heard this question and you guys ask favorite movie snack and candy. Mm -hmm. And my thought always goes favorite movie snacks are candy. So That's like- That's fair, you, that is fair. Right, uh, but so probably, like I have candies that I like, but my favorite candy that I only ever ate at the movie theater was uh, snow caps. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't eat like I like bunch of crunch is good too, but I'll eat that like anytime, anywhere. <laughs> and like, you know, but uh, snow caps probably very like specific. I remember getting that blockbuster a lot in my. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> like blockbuster staple snow caps. Yeah, that's such a like oh. theater specific candy. That oh my god! I that that think... blockbuster throwback that happened in my brain right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, before we get before we let Jessica go, any final questions for? Her? Good. Are You're you ready? Are it, you excited? Girl. You're ready. I'm very excited. I have been procrastinating all my. Assignments with uh, studying movie trivia instead. So. <laughs> There's the dedication, managers. There's the de dedication. I will throw some comments up before we let you go. Brandon Hanna here. One time, Kate tried to poison me. Listen. There we go. Listen. And then Kaiser, one more time, straight A said, nobody ever in the dungeon. So, oh. <laughs> hey, you Kaiser, could, I mean, you could use the change of pace, Kaiser. You could use the educator. Yeah, you could use you it. Could use the educator. In here. Oh, use a sharp mind in that dungeon. <laughs> Uh, well, Jessica, thank you so much for hanging out with us for a little bit and thank stopping by guys. and promoting yourself. And uh, good luck to everything in the next couple weeks here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck. Oh, All right. Sorry. Two down, nine I like more. This, I like this I like rapid fire. fire. I know. Speed Keep the train of moving. Uh, we do have our next guest in uh, in the waiting room ready. We might as well just bring him on. Um, he has been making the rounds a little bit as of late. And I'm very excited to talk to him a little bit because... I know nothing about the gentleman, but I know his name has been thrown around, and that is Mr. Frank Alvarez. What's up, man? Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me okay? We yeah. can hear you great. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank, thank he's, you, hat. he's done. Kick him out. <laughs> thank he's hat. Him he's out. a Boston fan. He's a Boston fan. He's a Boston oh, fan? Oh, oh, I'm a Dodger fan. You get out. <laughs> oh, I mean, listen, it's not it's not easy to live with the greatest uh, franchise in sports history as the New listen. York Yankees are. So. Uh, listen. But, uh, <laughs> this has started off great, guys. <laughs> thank, you guys. thank you guys so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, we're excited. Um, I don't care I, about I mean, sports, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's something that gave that away. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm I'm very excited because you know we, we saw the name uh, on the draft list and and we were kind of writing through names a little bit and we saw Christian post you specifically when he revealed a bunch of free agents as well and we're like okay who is this guy and then you show up on on let's get ready last week so we got to learn a little bit more about you um, we want to ask some questions on our own and I know you may have answered this a little bit last week but for our viewers who may not know you sure uh, you know who are you where do you where do you come into play with the Schmodown? Uh, movie trivia and what uh, what division also are you interested in playing in? Who am I? That's something I'm still trying to figure out. Um, <laughs> are we all? Are, <laughs> yeah, we, are all? we all? One day at a time. Uh, well, no, my name my name is Frank. Uh, I am uh, I'm from New York. Uh, I currently live in Jersey, though it's too expensive to live in New York now. So, Philly, man, I feel you. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, we know why Christian. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually you know Christian from Queens. I'm from Queens as well. Uh, so I guess we got the same blood running through us. Um, I've been a you know a Schmodown fan for a while now. You know, it started pretty casual a couple seasons ago, and then it just started getting very intense. I do a lot of you know uh, driving during my uh, daily you know 
commute for work to and from, you know, wherever I have to go. So throwing on, you know, whether it be backstage, you know, SEN, any, any of the stuff and uh, tons of matches, it, you know, it kind of just, it really, really got me hooked. And, uh, you know, I consider myself a, a big, um, you know, I consider myself a big movie fan, but it's a lot more big, like casual, you know, I watch a lot, but it's in my, you know, I don't do it, you know, because I'm, you know, a, a pundit or I'm trying to, you know, talk about it. Um, so, uh, but something that, you know, that I think, you know, kind of puts me above average is, uh, I, I co-host a podcast with my buddy and we kind of, um, we talk a lot of crap. I don't know if I can curse on here. You so I'm you're more than welcome. Okay. <laughs> <Don't laughs> I think it says something about me. That's one of the first questions I ask. Anything <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah, but I, I talk a lot of shit and, um, there you go. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 uh, I've been told I have the gift of gab. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, speak too much about that, but speak, um, speak about it, sir. Speak uh, about it. Well, no, I got we the gift of gab, here. you know, I I've, I've been on, uh, I've done live shows for stuff. You know, I, 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 I have a lot of movie trivia and on top of that, um, I, uh, I just have like a really good ability to retain knowledge. Like I, I, you know, one of the first things I do is right after I watch something, whether it be TV movies, anything I go and I like read that laundry list of trivia that's through IMDB. And I try to learn as much about it as possible. So, you know, I think, uh, I'm coming in with, you know, respect to the game, good amount of trivia knowledge, but also the willingness to learn. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of blind spots that I'm very well aware of, but I, you know, I want to get, I want to get in there. I want to put the time in, I want to put the work in and I want to contribute to this league, man. Uh, at, at the end of everything, like this league has bought me so much joy. Uh, it's probably driven my wife nuts because I have it on 24 <laughs> seven. Um, but I want to contribute, you know, like I I'm so invested and in, and in, in, entertained and enthralled in everything. And I really think I can contribute in a meaningful, fun way. Awesome. Love awesome. I love, uh, I love the well, honesty. Yeah. 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 yeah there's, we don't, we don't want like, just, we want just be cocky. We want it. Like, don't, like, <laughs> don't be so, I mean, like, you know, I always tell people I can, I can turn it on if I need to turn it on, you know, and I, I can, I can, I don't like using the term cocky, but like, I could be a prick if I need to be a prick. <laughs> <laughs> so the character work is something I really enjoy, you know, because I, 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 it's like, an, it's an escape for so many people, you know, because obviously the people that were watching, you know, by all means, at least from as far as I see, you know, great people, fun, entertaining, good hearted people. And, uh, you know, I, I know that it's got to be fun for them to kind of step away a little bit and to dig into each other a little. You know, I see, Jill, you got the, the Andrew guy, you know, right behind <laughs> you. Course, and, you know, I mean, and that's that's always uh, during my, yeah, during my Let's Get Ready interview, they uh, he came up. And it's just, you know, I do think uh, it'd be a lot of fun, you know, and just to kind of tear into people. I'm not going to sit here and talk <clears throat> shit about people that are that have been in the league for a while because they know their stuff, man. But. I can I can bring the heat on I my uh my bark and my bite will you know be there. Yes. That's awesome. That's Ooh. awesome. Well, before we get to our questions, I do have qu two questions from the chat. Oh, First boy. here, who's your favorite plumber in the Queens area? Kaiser. Oh <laughs> man. Well, I would I would say John Kaiser, but he got fired for lack of work. <laughs> oh, uh, also, another one from Kaiser. How many cannolis did you eat today? <laughs> uh, I ate three cannolis uh, for breakfast, and then I skipped lunch because you know three was quite a bit. He had six. He All had right, six. we're on the right track. Yeah. All right. All right. I had Thank the you. Mexican cannoli for dinner, which is a taco. So I there guess you go. Or is it a burrito? Hey, you know. You got something there. You got something there. But I think that the taco doesn't, it doesn't close on top. So I think we're kind of in the right realm. There you there go. go. Uh, all right, Molly, I'm going to throw it to you first. You got a question, for Frank? Yes. Um, some people want to answer this and some people don't. Do you have a slice on the wheel, trivia wise, that you uh, feel like that you are more strong at? Or if you don't want to answer that, is there a slice that you, and just enjoy watching other competitors answer. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, of course, you know, everyone's going to say, you know, going in, they want to go in with a blank slate. Uh, I I'm, I'm full trans, you know, full transparency. You know, a lot of the older stuff is a bit of a, a gray area for me, you know, but I think that that's consistent throughout most people. You know, I think it's pretty rare that you find people that have a lot of strengths in, uh, you know, pre seventies, you know, so the classics, but at the same time, as I, as I know that it's a struggling area for me, that just means that in my mind, that's somewhere I'm going to focus more of my time, mm -hmm. you know, so it can kind of come back to bite people. In the I mean, we've seen it multiple times in the league, you know, people thinking it's a weakness for somebody, they give it to them and then they knock it out the park, you yeah. know? So, um, that's something I definitely need to work on. Uh, absolutely. Great. Love it. Love it. Uh, Brian. 
Uh, who is a manager that you think you would work very well with? <sighs> Ooh, you know, I- I'm not going to sit here and badmouth people uh, because <laughs> enough people do that about Kaiser. But, you know, it's uh... <laughs> no, I-, I-, I really think I have the tools to work well with anyone. Uh, you know, I've had some people reach out to me that have kind of expressed, um, you know, where they think, you know, I might fit or, or kind of what I would be. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a fast talker, you know, so I think, you know, the people that some of the some of the, some of the managers definitely like a little bit more of the pomp and circumstance in addition to, uh, you know, the movie trivia. So, you know, I like loud personalities. I'm a very loud personality. I think we got a lot of per- loud personalities in the in the managers, but you can definitely kind of order them as to who's the loudest. You know, there's something telling me, you know, I, 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 I people are going to hate me for this, but uh, something tells me that Finstock and I would get along really, really well. But, <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I mean, real quick, I do want to, I, I, real quick, someone might have something to say about that. Yeah. Uh, Roxy, how do you Roxy, feel about working Roxy. with a bunch of people who would try to convince you to wear a Red Sox hat instead? Oh, boy. Red you Sox. know, that, that might be where I have to hang my, my hat up, Roxy. <laughs> you know, but I, I, I will say, though, I will say, you know, I do, I, I've said it during my other interview, you know, I have a lot of respect for, you know, Roxy and, and Jeff and all, all my East Side or, you know, East Coast people because, you know, although there's a big rivalry between, you know, Brian, you know, the Boston New York rivalry is real. But once you start going out West, it becomes more of, uh, you know, there's more camaraderie because us East Coasters, we got something that these West Coasters don't have, you know? That's fair. very valid. That's very <laughs> valid. I'm, I'm just looking at Roxy's other comment now. Yes, and I can't help that. Oh, Roxy. Oh, so I have trash say. Oh, Roxy. Roxy. I mean, listen, it's it's hard. It's hard. You know, I if I was a fan of a cheating team like the Red Sox or the oh, Astros. No. Oh, no. Oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, I, believe, I believe that's called shots fired. Oh. Oh, no. I'm, no, just, no, no. I'm just going to drink quick, right? There you go. There you go. Yeah. No, oh, I mean, listen, man. I'm, I, I'm, as of right now, I'm a, I'm a fan of the reputable uh, New York Yankees who have thus far not had any, you know, blemishes on there you know some players but hey what are you gonna do you can't win them all right (laughs) (laughs) yeah right uh all right we'll we'll finish this off with uh jill what do you got yeah i'm gonna change my question up a bit so i want to know how your thought process is when it comes to game strategy so say it's round two Mm -hmm. do you spin first or second and why well, I think there's a lot to take into account there. It really depends on who I'm playing. You know, I'm a big sports fan, so looking into tape is going to be something that I absolutely will do. Uh, it, it really depends on, you know, the way the points in round one had gone. You know, so I think there, there are a lot of different things. That's the easy answer. There's a lot of different things to take into account. However, uh, I'm the type of person where, you know, I, I'm very competitive. And if I'm, if I'm up on somebody, I'm going to just beat them down. You know, and I'm going to put the pressure on them for lack of better. Yeah, exactly. For lack of better terms. So you while you're down. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I don't like to kick people while they're down, but if they're down there, I might just walk over them, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think I, I'd like, you know, most likely depending on the situation, I would probably pick to go first. But again, it's all about listening to the managers. I, I am the type of person where I'm a team player. I like to. I really, really like it to be interactive between the managers and the players and stuff like that. So if I'm, you know, I know these managers know what they're doing, you know, in most situations. So if they're telling me, listen, I think you should go second, I'm going to defer to them. You know, I'm a, I like to, you know, get a little bit of a different point of view from everywhere. Perfect. That's what we're about. Uh, All right. right? Quickly, favorite movie snack and favorite candy. (sighs) Favorite movie snack. Boy, oh boy. Um, I mean, I guess I'm, uh, you know what? No, I won't go the basic answer. I, I am a sucker for pretzel bites. Pretzel oh, bites with cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Send me home. Like the Send fake cheese that comes out oh, of the yeah. machine. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This stuff that's basically yeah. nuclear and will turn you, you, you <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Uh, and then my favorite candy. I mean, if, in terms of going to the movies, I got to go with the, the you know, I love, I guess, ruining my mouth with the cheese sauce and now with milk duds because boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Frank and I just boy. became best friends. We just. <laughs> yes. Boy, Hold let on. me tell you, a couple milk duds. <laughs> yep. Yep. Ooh. Yep. I love it. Uh, well, all right, Frank, thank you so much for hanging out with us for a little bit and, and, you know, talking with us. I know that's short, but we'd love to have you back at some point and Listen, definitely, uh, good luck to everything here in the next few weeks and, and leading into the draft. Thank you. I'm, I'm super pumped to even be considered for the draft and I really appreciate you guys having me on. So anytime you'd like me back, my doors are open. Love awesome. It. Thank you. Thank, thank you guys. All right. Have a good, have a good one. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. So. 
Uh, we have a couple. And I just, just want to say, we have a few players. managers in the chat. We here. Do. We're waiting for the we wings. Do. We've got we've got managers here. So good. Make your statement. Make your statement. Make your statement. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's maybe, maybe right. not, maybe not as a, a Red Sox hater because that's like <laughs> hey, half the manager. I dug maybe it, even a part. I dug, if you want to be I, your authentic self, he was his authentic self. Yeah. Uh, I did. I did want to. Oh God! I know we have to get to our next guest, but I just threw it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, someone wanted off one fourth. <laughs> yeah. So good. I, 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 I wanted to ask. I dig it. I dig if it. we had the extra like time, I it. wanted to ask if he thinks that Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, but I didn't want to. <laughs> we don't want to start. We don't want yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah <laughs> we'll do that later on. Um, all right, let's get to our next guest. Uh, he is a fan leaguer, um, and he is someone that that's basically all that I know about him, and that is Mr. James Shimo. What's up, man? Hello. Welcome. What's up? I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, how's it Love going? Love the shirts. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. I was like, Molly's going to comment. I, I, I'm not yeah. going to say anything. <laughs> yes. Was that planned? Did you plan Bonus. that? Hey, I, personally, I had no idea Molly was going to be on the show. This is just <laughs> a happy accident, you know? And, I mean, she's you know, the host, you know? <laughs> my, okay, my, I'm going to say, my my life's been feeling a little, my schedule's been a little little off since Mandalorian season two finished, but thankfully WandaVision's up in the morning, so cool. news on that front, so. Absolutely. Well, bonus points right off the bat, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's just start this off. Let's get it, Let's get into the questions here. Um, first of all, who are you? Uh, your connection to the Shmodown movies, trivia, and what what division are you uh, are you looking to compete in? Cool. Uh, yeah. So I'm. Uh, my name is James Shimo. I'm from a little town, uh, right in the like the midway between Knoxville and Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, my experience with the Shmodown, I started watching it back during the AMC Movie Talk days. So wow. I'm all the way back in season three. So my first actual match that I watched was John Campia versus Dan Merle. So that oh, was yeah. the, the full on revamp oh, studio yeah. edition. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, I was hooked from the get go. I've loved movies ever since I was a kid and to know that there was this competition going on where I could kind of test myself at home and see where I was at. It just, it, it spoke to me on a whole nother level. So um, I was super pumped, you know, just following it and seeing how it's just shifted and evolved over the last number of seasons. And it's, it's been a great thing to see. It really has. That's awesome. awesome. And as far as which division I'm looking into, like obviously Star Wars is a big part of my life. Ah. So I know Molly might be a little hesitant about that because that means <laughs> no, I'm no. More, so, more, bring him, bring him more. But, uh, yes, Star Wars and IG are my bread and butter. Uh, I'm okay in others, but I can always get, <laughs> I know I can always improve in that area. So Ooh. love it. Amazing. All right, Brian, I'm going to shoot it to you first, All man. Right. What do you got? Uh, who is a manager that you feel that you would work very well with? Well, um, as far as all the managers go, I know I, I followed a lot of their careers very, very closely. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm what I call a utility player, almost like the Swiss army player. I can fit into whatever kind of area you need me to. I can get along with just about anybody. I'm a very go with the flow kind of guy. So I'm able to work well with just about any team that's presented to me. So, but with that being said, um, Roxy, I know her leadership and her commitment to her players is pretty much second to none. I've noticed that throughout the last season. So she's definitely one that I feel like I would gel with in a very, very, you know, in an in immense capacity. Um, on the other flip side of the coin, uh, you know, uh, Winston Marshall, I think he's got a very nice kind of swagger to him, kind of comes with the territory with the name uh -huh. of the faction and everything like that. And I feel like I can bring just as much, if not more. So I feel like we have kind of a vibe going there. Um, yeah, as far as anything else, I mean, I know it's not a popular thing to say, but let's face it. Finstock has a track record of managing great players as well. I mean, you look at what he did with, you know, Dan Marola getting him back to the title at one point. You get uh, the founding fathers and their team title run. Look at what he did with the Patriots all the way back when. So, I mean, he's got a track record. So, you know, even though his personality might leave a little bit to be desired. I mean, there's something to be said for being able to coach people that far. So I'm sure Roxy loved that comment. When you're pitching yourself to a bunch of managers, it's kind of like being a politician looking for donations. You kind of got to, you got to, you got to measure your expectations a little it's bit. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Molly, what do you got? 
Yeah, so I've been asking people about wheel uh, wheel slices. So other than IG and Star Wars, is there a particular slice of movie genre uh, that you are more <laughs> geared towards or that you favor? Um, as far as favoring, like I do typically like to play my cards a little close to the chest on that one because you you always want to be able to have that that little ace in the ace in the hole, as it were. Um, but I will say. Uh, just being a child of the '90s and things like that, Disney and animated are two that I know I can, I can do very, very well. Bless, with. Bless you. Bless. Excellent. Bless. So. We've seen so many. Yeah, we've seen so many Disney and animated questions. Well, that, the singles tournament, they kept coming up like no they other. Were like, they were like constantly three and five yeah. point questions. And they're like, these are so hard. And I'm like, no, they're not. They are not. They're not. Not, okay. not if you know your Disney history, they're not. Um, Jill, Love before it. I answer your question, I do want to get to Kaiser because Kaiser's been asking the hard-hitting questions all night long. He says, if I hand you a chair, who do you hit? A, hit Bob Finsock. B, hit Bobby Gucci. C, hit Dagnita. Well, considering they're probably all personalities he grew he got while growing up in a dumpster, I really don't think it matters. It's, it's the choice can be effective either way, regardless of which one you hit. <laughs> Actually, it might knock him into a more favorable personality down the line. You never know. Uh, God. Love it, fire. Love it. Love it. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Perfect. Perfect. All right, Jill, I'm, Jill, I'm leaving it up to you to follow that up. Follow oh, up. God. So um, I, I'm going to not be as cruel, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going stick, to stick with the strategic, another strategic question. So sure. let's say, let's say you're in a championship or in a final match in a tournament. Oh. Um, you are in the betting round. Let's say you're down by one. You spin the wheel. And you land on a slice that both you and your opponent are eh, okay in. What do you bet and why? Okay, that's a that's a very fair question. Um, because a lot of the times when it comes to that betting round, it's a lot like those high stakes poker games. You like looking at a lot on TV. You're both looking each other in the eye, trying to figure out what's on the other person's mind. <clears throat> if I'm okay in it, I definitely would air more on the side of caution necessarily, because let's face it, if they're only okay in it, they're probably going to do a little bit of the same thing. But at the same time, if it's a question or a category that hasn't come up very often in that round, and maybe they're throwing out something that's maybe a little bit more general knowledge, not near as deep cut, then maybe I go a little bit higher and, you know, take the risk. It's all, it's all risk reward. And it's, again, it's a lot like playing the stock market in a lot of ways. You, you put your money in not knowing exactly what the result is going to be, but one way or the other, you got to live with it. And besides, uh, even in that round, if let's say I do end up whiffing and I drop by about another point or two, I can more than make up for it in that speed round. So I, I, I know for a fact that I, I am quick witted. I'm sharp. I'm, I can, I can get those answers out pretty, darn, pretty darn fast. So I, uh, and third round wouldn't near as throw me as if I were down by the speed round per se. Nice. Fair enough. Good to know. So clearly, you know, your showdown tactics mm -hmm. noted. Yeah. Noted. Knows the game. Knows noted. The game. Noted. Uh, all right. It. We'll finish it off with the, uh, the famous question here, favorite movie snack and favorite candy, sir. All right. Favorite movie snack. I feel like it's, it's a cop out to say popcorn, even though that's a standard. Um, I that's my mm. vote, so yeah. <laughs> It's not a um, out. And don't get me wrong, like if, it, if it's an Avengers Endgame level movie, I'm sitting there with a giant bucket of popcorn and an equally big bucket of soda and just chilling out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's going for more of like a, a drama or something like that, where you don't want to just be stuffing salty stuff in your face, um, I'd probably say either pretzels or nachos, either one. Mm, I love nachos and getting like a whole cup of jalapenos. I'll just like put oh, you're one on each one on each chip. <laughs> yeah. um, oh god! Make your own little yeah. movie hors d'oeuvres. I like I like where your head's at. Yeah. <laughs> it's the second time we've talked about nacho cheese, and now I really want. It. <laughs> Uh, and then as far as candy goes, I've actually gone through like a huge, you know, gamut when it comes to candies. Um, when I was a kid, it started with Bunch of Crunch. And then um, the older I got, I kind of moved to snow caps. And now lately, uh, just because it's a big thing of mine, uh, cookie dough bites are my go to now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. Chocolate chip cookie dough with just that little layer on top of it. So good. Yes. Bless. Uh, all right, all right, James. Well, uh, thank you so much for stopping by for a little bit, and and you know we're happy to give you a little bit of a spotlight for these managers. I know they're all watching, and uh, best of luck over the next few weeks, and we hope that it helped you. Appreciate you having me. Thanks. Right, thank have, you. have a good one.
Bye. Bye. All right. He told we... me more that because he knew Molly was here. He was just playing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you want extra bonus points, <laughs> we got to bring the Grogu. Very fair. Very fair. Uh, all right. Let's just let's keep it moving here. We have our next guest. He's been sitting here for a little bit. And it's a name that I've been hearing a lot of rumblings about lately. So I'm excited to hear from him himself. And that is Amaru Moses. What is up? What up, family? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Uh, Good. Do I'm, I, I'm doing well. Do I see a Golden Bears sweatshirt? Oh, yes, you oh. do. Hello. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yay. Yes. Oh man. Are you are you right. California? Are you California? Um, I am everywhere. Um <laughs> so the journey starts at New York and then it goes to LA and then it goes to DC and then it goes to Chicago and then it goes to Ohio and then it goes to Oxnard. Shout out Anderson Park. Yes, then it goes Oxford. to the Bay, then it goes to the Bay Area for 10 years where I started here, and then I taught for six years in uh east oakland um Love it. Yeah. Yeah. wow that really yeah. is everywhere wow. and then, now i am in charlotte i've been charlotte for the last three years um so yeah i i i, I represent a lot of different places that's awesome yes. well i mean if you don't know brian is barrier born and bred i'm sacramento so we're we're california boys uh, jill's out down. jill's down in la uh, so we're all California people. Then Molly's out on her on her little island. Atlanta. <laughs> Important question. Important. I'm going to start off with the questions. Do you know what a fizz face is? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Just absolutely. That's, that must be a Bay Area thing. My girlfriend laughing in the corner, knowing what it is. Uh, I, don't, yeah, I don't know what that is. You know what a fizz face? It, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Go look up Mac Dre. And, and just, I will give you the first step of the thizzle dance. First, you do like this. Mm -hmm. Put a look on your face like you smell like some piss. Piss. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stink face. It's a stink face. Fair sense. enough. Brian, we were right. being very good friends. Uh, you came in with birthday and we started talking about fizz face. You already won my heart. We're good. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good to know. There you go. Brian, you found your best friend. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> good. I found just, mine. You found yours. Yeah, we're we're good to go. Um, should we just, should we just bounce? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we do have to give these questions a little bit. And like I said, I've been hearing your name a little bit over the last few weeks. And I know that they talked about it specifically this last episode on Backstage as well. Um, you obviously played in the fan leagues. You're, you're coming in uh, as an IG player, I believe. Um, talk about right yourself, your history with history of trivia, Schmodown, movies, and, and clarify what league you're going to if it's not just IG. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, my name is Amaru Moses. Uh, I, I have been in love with movies for forever. My dad has taken me to movies since I was little. I'm pretty sure I was in the theater at six watching Pulp Fiction, um, <laughs> and loving every second of it. Um, I, I, being from everywhere, I, I really uh, just hang on to like that, how diverse I am. I've, I've lived everywhere. I'm black, I'm uh, Latino, uh, and uh, Movies and trivia have just been the, the 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 thing that I have held on to amongst everything in my entire life. Like my boys used to make fun of me for going to do Nerd Bowl, and I was like, "Yes, I'm going to do Nerd Bowl. <laughs> See y'all later." Um, and uh, I, I got into the Schmodown uh, through Jeremy Johns. Um, I was in YouTube hole with Jeremy Johns. I saw him in one of them. I was like, hmm, "This looks interesting. Let me let me keep going," because uh, I was technically technically at work uh, while doing it. Um, but I don't, work there anymore. I don't work there anymore, so nothing can happen. So it's all good. Um, but then I saw the, uh, that he was in the five way, the geek five way. And I was like, okay, I, I have to look into this. And I saw it and I automatically fell in love, went back to the original seasons, told my nephew like, yo, fam, fam, come watch this. <laughs> and then I got into the fan leagues, uh, Full Metal, Multiplex, FETL, all of those. Uh, Ansel, go check them out. They're amazing. And not only did I, I fall in love more so with trivia, but I fell in love with the, the community that they have. So um, uh, you'll see her later, but there's no way I'm on here without mentioning Jacoby, Peggy, and Christina, because because we're in this together. Uh, and and yeah, so, and, and I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm an all around player, but IG is where I live. Yeah. I mean, Pufflepuff <laughs> is the greatest house <laughs> ever. Uh, <laughs> and ever do that. Um, but I, I also, I thrive in teams. Uh, I, 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 I am 
I, I, I will take hold of the mantle, the nicest. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hot, Love hot, it. Hot. The uh, nicest dude in the fan leagues. I, I hold on to that mantle very, very dearly to my heart. Um, I work really well with other people, work through stuff, and then I can I can survive in singles. So I'm an overall player, but again, IG IG is is where I live and breathe. Love it. All right, good awesome. to know. Good to know. Uh, Molly, I'll go ahead and start with you. Uh. Well, I, I love that you mentioned that you are Black and Latino, so I want to know, is there a particular actor who is Black or Latino that you want to see have their own slice in singles? Automatically, Lakeith Stanfield. He oh. is, he I love is you. Yeah, absolutely brilliant in everything he does. Um, but uh, not I, I. You meant you asked me about an actor, but I have Bay Area. I have to mention that if I don't hear a blind spot in question soon, I am <laughs> losing. I need to. Pretty sure there was definitely a blind spot in question. I think well, we, we need more. We, we need more. We do need we more. Need I agree. More. Um, but yeah, Lakeith Stanfield. He's he is one of the best. I am just so happy about the just the crop of new black male and female actors just coming through. Um, now we need the Latinx wave coming through too. People, Hollywood, do something, keep doing right. something. But yeah. uh, Lakeith is just comedy, drama, weird, not weird. Just, he is he is a chameleon of chameleons. So Lakeith Stanfield for sure. Wow. Awesome. Love it. There Love you it. go. Love Speaking it. for the man himself. <laughs> uh, Brian, let's take it. Uh, is there a manager that you uh, feel you would mesh and or bond with pretty well? Okay. So take every single PC response that you have heard, put that in front. Fair enough. All of you. <laughs> yes. But to be real about it, I mentioned it. Black man. Black <laughs> man. Winston. I am Winston. Winston is me. We are blurs. We are the, the coolest nerd you'll ever see. I and and he goes to bat for his players without without feeling making you feel like you've ever let him down. So so Winston is up there, but the man who just commented, Koi is also very much up there for me since um, I have connected to Koi ever since I've been starting watching Collider because from Schmodown, I went to Collider. Um, I told him if I ever see him on a plane, uh, I am immediately sitting down and talking to him. I still remember if you listen to music or you sleep, I'll leave you alone, sir. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> but he also just goes to the back for his, for his team. And um, uh, Shannon, Shannon, I, I'm not necessarily a heel, but I, I do play the nice guy just so I can take shots at people when people still like me. Yes. <laughs> oh, so, but Shannon also just really, really holds it down for everybody she manages. Um, so those are definitely ones I'm looking out for. I, I haven't seen, um, I don't know if she keeps it close to the vest outside when I can see, because I, I am a teacher, so I can't watch all the time. But I'm also very interested in Roxy. Um, I, I, I just more, I wonder. I wonder a little bit more. But, and of course, any, any, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, nice. Um, so, so, so are you telling me you're not drafting? That's <laughs> yeah. anyway. Um, anyway, again, anybody, I, I, I will go to bat for any manager that picks me up, I whatever I just said, if you have that faith in me, I am going to go full 100% for you, um, whether it's one match, 10 matches, whatever it is. I love it. I love it. it. Uh, Jill, why don't you, uh, you know, finish it off here? Yeah, I finished my drink, so I'm just going to stir the pot a little bit. Uh, oh, <laughs> if you had 60 days to study Star Wars and not about Star Wars, do you think you could join the Star Wars League? I'm champion. 60 days. 60 days. 60 days and nothing else, I'd be champion. Like, study, studying is what I do. Now, I, the, the reason I'd be champion is because I know some legit Star Wars people who know just about as much as Alex. Uh, Molly, do you want to go get Alex and see what he thinks? Yeah, not, not as much as Molly, because Molly is, you know, she's, she's everything. But... <laughs> Outside of uh, outside of the movies, I know those people. So, because I have people, they will be helping me as much as I can help myself. You give me sixty days, 
I I am definitely taking that belt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> You're good, Bill. You're good. I, I'm, um, not gonna, I'm not gonna pick on the rookies. Like <laughs> I, I I said at the beginning of the show, I want to see the cockiness, and I'm getting it, and I'm loving it. i I am too. That's why I I thought he would do well with the question, and so I didn't have to ask, <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. Um, well, I think you know we'll finish off with this, the the big question here for POV, and it seems like you're a massive movie fan like the rest of us, so you got to have a great answer for favorite movie snack and favorite candy. So favorite movie snack is favorite candy. Uh, Lazy Sunday had it had it partially right. They have uh, Mr. Pib and uh, Red Vines. It's Dr. Mm. Pepper and, and Twizzlers all day. Twizzlers oh. is, is, is my favorite candy, hands down. Mm. Dr. Pepper is the uh, best drink of all time. Put in a little bit of coconut rum. You're welcome. Oh. Um, and oh my now God. we're talking. My mind has been blown. Oh you Lord. Take the Twizzlers. I you take the Twizzlers, you bite one end, you bite with the other end, you have a straw, you have Dr. Pepper and Twizzler right there. It's crazy, delicious, oh. correct. Dr. Dr. Speaking my language. Dr. Pepper with coconut rum. It is, it is, it is. It is. I don't like alcohol, but that I love. And it's, Brian, you're, you Brian. are welcome. You're, that's, that's, you're, notes, that's such a mean answer. Take notes, Brian. <laughs> Brian, take notes. <laughs> Brian, Brian, we are connecting in so many ways. I know. It's like, kind of scaring me a little bit, but I love it. <laughs> I, I i'm a fellow twizzler fan i prefer twizzlers all the way yes yes <laughs> easy if you don't get out of here with your red vines <laughs> get out of here get out there you go there thank you, go. you. <laughs> uh well maru thank you thank you so much for, for stopping by and, and you know promoting yourself we're glad to give you this little bit of a spotlight for managers to see you and, and the community as well and i gotta say you did a great job doing it um, you're a lot of fun, and we definitely uh, look forward to seeing more of you here in the next next year or so. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I had right. to ask the 60 Stay away from my belt. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask the 60-day question. I'm uh, a man after my heart when he throws out fizz. I mean, come on. None of you know what I'm talking about, but... Um, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I'll have to Google Gabby that, or you'll have to explain that to me after the show. I I don't know. I know. I saw Gabby pop in. Gabby, <laughs> man after our hearts. Chuckling. The second he said it, she was full on just chuckling over here in the corner. Um, <laughs> so she I will, knew exactly will, what was happening. Just a side note: what I was just drinking is our cocktail for happy hour, and I've just had one and party. Um, so. there she uh, is Saturday 5pm Pacific guys um, okay let's go and get to our next guest um, super excited to talk to her Don't again don't know a whole ton about her but we know that she is a name that's been popping up a lot as of recently she made uh, those top 15s from Frank and Abby oh. and that is Miss Paige Ferretti Ooh. how's it going hey oh. guys this is my YouTube debut so thank you guys so much for having me on I really appreciate ah, it welcome. Yeah. <laughs> welcome welcome uh, welcome to the chaos that is the Schmodown after show community <laughs> well thank you guys for having me I'm super excited so yeah hey. so uh you know like like I mentioned we don't know a ton about you uh, obviously first time meeting officially here and, and probably for most of the community as well so let's just start off with the question I've been asking everybody uh, just who are you, your connection to the Shimona and movies, trivia, and uh, the league that you're going to be entering or going for if drafted? Yeah, so uh, my name is Paige for Betty. Um, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter at From Page News 9. I also run my own movie blog titled uh, Feature Flicks. And I actually kind of created that whole movie page, which is about like movie news and stuff, from watching like the Schmodown and like from the AMC days and uh, SNE and Collided Movie Talk. So I've like always been a huge fan and once I like found uh, the showdown, I was like, holy shit, there's people like me that are in this community that like, <laughs> like move trivia. Sure. So I was like, this is perfect Woo! for me. Like, I <laughs> randomly like years ago on YouTube. So when I found out, I was like, this is my saving grace. So, and uh, <laughs> the leagues I would like to be in is uh, singles and teams. Love awesome. it. Love it. Uh, uh, Brian, I'll go ahead and to, to go and uh, shoot it to you first. Uh, so if you've been watching for a while, you know, uh, the managers, uh, who is someone you feel that you would work pretty well with? I mean, I gotta say my girl, Roxy. I mean, I'm a Boston girl too. So born and oh, yeah. she's, she's my girl. I feel like we would just hit it off so well. We would just be like home girls for life. So Roxy, <laughs> if you're listening, this girl right here. She was in the chat. She was in the chat. Let's see if she's still wow. around. She well, Kaiser honestly was though, I don't, I don't really like too. To pick me up though totally down for so <laughs> that's fair that is fair 
Uh, Molly. <clears throat> yeah, so I've been asking people about particular slices on the wheel uh, or movie genres that you are more drawn to. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable of, about giving away any of your secrets or anything, but is there a specific genre that you feel like you're better at or more drawn to? Or if you don't want to answer that, you can just say what genre do you enjoy watching other players answer? I know I'll definitely answer the question. Uh, I yeah. mean, so I think for me, uh, I am young, I'm 27. So I would definitely say like coming of age, I'm a, and I'm also a huge Tarantino fan. And I feel like a lot mm -hmm. of like girls aren't. So that's my man right there, favorite director <laughs> of all time. So when love I it. Know, I love I Tarantino. The wheel. Fan too. <laughs> there you go, girl. <laughs> So yeah, those are like my favorites. So when I see those on there, I'm just like, yep, I'm gonna know every single one. Let's do this. Like, especially when I play with my friends, I'm just like, back off. This is mine now. <laughs> my time to shine. What's up? Awesome. Uh, Jill, do you got something? Yeah, I've asked this once already, but I'm gonna change up the scenario a little bit. So let's say you've made it to either the final round of a tournament or you're in a championship match. You are in the betting round. Let's say this time in this scenario, you are up by three points. You spin the wheel. You land on a slice that you're okay at. It's not your strength. You're okay at it, but it is your opponent's strength. What do you bet and why? I mean, not going to lie, go big or go home. So I'm the type of player, especially if I'm up by three. I mean, I'm always going to work with my manager talk it out, see what the idea is they're flowing with. But for me, go big or home. I'd probably stick with like a solid like two or something if it's one out of th how many, uh, one out of three points. So I'd stick with like a solid two. Cause I, I have a very diverse of uh, movie knowledge. I try to watch like a bunch of different flicks all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going with like a solid two on that one. Love it. Yeah. Love it. I, I have a question kind of going off of Jill being that it's digital and being that the, the code words were so popular this year. Um, do you have a set of code words you would Oh, use? I love it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> I mean, or or maybe maybe so you don't like reveal a, them, like something that would be based around. Like, <laughs> like, oh my god, she, 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 she my just my heart with that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I mean, that's definitely fair. like I mean, not a huge I'm a hockey girl, so not a huge baseball fan, but I mean, do some like crazy signs or shit like yes! on there or something. <laughs> yes! Yeah, just pull, so if I like gear. say a word, I don't want to give anything away, like with my safe word. So maybe like some secret sign or something, like play in the face or something. I love it. Give something Start away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just invoking. <laughs> uh, Brian, I know you time, guys uh, who would you love to be on a team with if you could pick any team, like a team partner? Ooh, um, that's a good one. I would probably say Jeff Snyder. Ah. Like, oh. I feel like we could play like good cop, like bad cop, like, and I feel like we have uh, like different uh, movies, that, like uh, categories that would be good at, so we balance each other out really well as well. And I just feel like we would be like a good like hail team. Like we got Ooh. the man, and then we got this girl right here. So I feel like we could, and we're both from Massachusetts too. So I feel like I Roxy would happen. have. I feel like Roxy would either have an incredible time or a very hard time wrangling the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> that could be it, but I think she would love us. So. <laughs> I have no doubt I about think that. So I'm too. a team player, so. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right, well, we'll go ahead and finish this off with uh, the question we've been asking everyone. Do you have a favorite movie snack and candy or and or both? Um, so I would say movie snack. Um, this is kind of like, I don't know if it's like a double whammy or not, but Bunch of Crunch in Popcorn. Bomb Anything with See, chocolate on it, I think yes. it's amazing. So I love and, mixing salty and sweet together. Exactly. It's the best of both worlds. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, and, I do go ahead. Oh no. Nope. I was gonna say I do just want to make a side comment. Um has anyone noticed her Grogu behind her? Because oh, oh my god, no. I did not. Bonus no. points. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And, yeah, and, 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 and Leia. And Leia, I, 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 I had to rock my bill today, so. Yes. Love. I just had to point Love that it. out. I'm like, um, she has growth. <laughs> All the bonus points. <laughs> uh, did, did you have a favorite candy, though? Uh, candy, I mean, 
Uh, many people would probably lose their teeth to like crack, but mine would definitely be to candy. Um, it would probably be like sour, <laughs> anything sour. So like sour gum nice. or yeah. anything like that. So, I mean, by the time I'm like 40, I probably won't have any teeth from eating so much candy, <laughs> but it'll be worth it at the end of the day. So I'll be Very happy. Fair. That's what matters. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very fair. Uh, okay. Well, well, Paige, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out a little bit and, and, you know, it was awesome to meet you officially, and, and we can't wait to see what happens in the next few weeks and for the next couple of years in this phone down. I know. Thank you guys so much. I'm excited. Thank you guys for just giving me the opportunity to be on and showcase myself. So have a good night, guys, and thank you so much. Awesome. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are well over uh, – we're just about halfway through. We have five more guests joining us. Um, train the roll. I think so far, guys. I mean, we've had a lot of great people on. Good. I like everyone. Oh, I, know. <laughs> I know. Me too. Oh, managers, I'm so sorry that you guys have to pick. But, like, they're all – I want it's not me. Surprise, I'm making my own faction. I am the <laughs> manager. I am just taking everybody who is on here today. This is Jill's faction. This is Jill's yeah. faction Hi. going forward. <laughs> Plus Molly. <laughs> Molly. Yeah. 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 Molly's um, my number one pick. I'm here too. And Sean. <laughs> oh, and Sean. <laughs> Molly and Sean are my Star Wars players. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, shift here and get to our next guest. And it is someone, again, who's from the fan leagues. Um, she is part of the Fan League Four that is with Amara, with Christine, uh, Christina, excuse me, from Sunday, and that is Miss Peggy Gubman. She is joining us. What is up? Uh, Hello. Not much. I'm happy to be with you. Yeah, I love welcome. your background. I did too. Uh, thank you. This is my own personal blockbuster wall that I oh have. Oh my god! Wow. I was like, seeing CDs in their cases, and now I'm just seeing the CDs, and it's great. I love, oh, that. I love that. I love that. That is. Incredible. Yeah, they're all on push pins. I can just pick one up, throw it in, put it back on the wall. <laughs> wow. I love that. Ooh. Functional and, yep. and, and aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> um, all right. So let's let's just get to it here. We, we'll get to the question to start us off. That way everybody can chat and all the managers watching, they can get to know you. Um, who are you? What is your connection to the Schmodown movies, trivia, and what league are you looking to go into if drafted? All right. Um, unlike a lot of people, I am a little bit late to the game with the Schmodown. I did not get to the Schmodown until the free for all three, but it oh, came wow. into my algorithm I somehow. Before then too, so I'm yeah. right there with you. Yeah, I feel you. It came into my algorithm somehow, and I was hooked. I watched both parts back to back. I was cheering Bibbs on the entire way. I lost my mind when he lost it at the end in overtime to Dan Merle, <laughs> and then. I started going back through all the matches, trying to figure out who's who. I feel like I'm just repeating my audition tape right now. But I started going back through uh, who's who and like who's rivals with what, trying to figure out the entire history of the Snowdown, just because I'm like, oh, I'm into this. But before I did that, uh, this is where everything's going to turn a little bit sentimental. Apologies to whoever follows me. But uh, before I did that, I texted my older brother, Mike, because my older brother, Mike, is not only a huge movie fan like myself, but he is a lifelong wrestling fan. Like he forced me to watch like every WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, SummerSlam when I was growing up. So I'm very much into that whole aspect of the game. So I knew he would be totally into it. And I got him sucked in. He was a member of the Patreon way before I ever was. And I was trying to get him to join the families because I knew if he got his chance, he would dominate. But for some reason, he never did. And unfortunately, in July of 2019, he passed away unexpectedly. Oh my gosh. So a couple months after he was gone, I started thinking about how the, the last thing we ever talked about was the Schmodown. The only the last communication me and my brother ever had was the Schmodown. We were talking about the match between Mike, Mike Kalinowski and Janine the Machine. And I started thinking about how I wish that he had joined the families because it would have been something that he would have just grabbed on a hold of and just ne never let go. He would have been dominant. But so I started thinking, and I'm like, you want to know what? I'm going to take my shot. I'm going to join the families. And here we are today, and it's it's crazy how life works out, you know. Oh my god, that's an amazing story. That's a thing. Yeah, thank you for thank telling you for story. sharing. Thank you for sharing that. Oh yeah, god. I don't know if anybody uh, to use a term from one of the other uh, after shows. I don't know if anybody else has the same origin story as me, but I promise you that me getting into this league, it's going to mean something on an entirely different level to me, and I'm going to put in the work for that. Yeah. Oh, you got that. you got a great mot motivating factor. Yes, you do. That's for mm -hmm. sure. That is for sure. Um, Molly, I'll throw it to you first. Yeah, so I have been asking people questions about uh, slices on the wheel. So is there a particular genre of movies or wheel slice that you are 
more excited for or better at or if you don't want to answer that and show no, cards? This one is not a secret if you've watched any of my family matches, rom-coms. Okay. Rom -coms. Rom -coms. Yeah. Or some version of that. It's my favorite genre. I pretty much dominate anyone in that genre. So Ooh, anytime, I it. I, I'm not afraid to say that. I, I played along with the rom-com exhibition match and I would have smoked all of them. Ooh. I can't say I would smoke everyone in a, just in singles or teams when that's not the dominant topic, but I'm working on whatever holes I have, I'm working on it. And if we're talking about divisions I want to be in, yeah, I want to be in singles, but most of all, I want to be in teams because I think if I can find a partner where the Venn diagrams of our movie prowess covers the most area, we would do some damage. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I love that. Right. Love it. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Janine the Machine, you... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Brian, Brian, you're up next. Player coming at you. <laughs> Is there a manager that you think that you would work very well with? I will say I have my preferences, but I'm not about to reveal those. I'm playing my card <laughs> Fair enough. close to the best. I will say, however, that I have been contacted by more than half, but less than all factions already. So, Ooh, so I love it. Way. Okay, then let me change my question. Mm -hmm. If you could pick someone just like a dream person to be on a team with who would you pick well you mentioned genie in the machine i think i just i've talked about this before one or two questions go the other way we're talking about genie is one of the most dominant players in this agreed league. agreed and agreed. so i think being on a team with her would be cool although i think our aesthetics of movies overlap a little bit so i think maybe if someone was like more inner geekdom that wanted to try their hand in teams Ooh. that would the balance of that would be good I like that. I like. Great answer. I love it. I love it. I'm interested. I'm very interested. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still highlighting on the fact I'm that ready. you've been contacted by more than half of the factions. That's like, I'm trying to like put it in my head right now. Like, okay, We're who the hell has been talked to her? Yeah, and yes, and I want to say, yeah. any fashion out there, you'd be lucky to have me, Rue. You guys met Christina. You know, she's amazing. Oh, Personality is off the charts. And I don't know if you guys have met Jacoby yet, but you will soon. And he's you'd be lucky to have any of us. I love that I love that there's already a, like a crew of rookies. I know. There's, a, there's like a bit of an alliance together. formed with the four of us. Yes. We're trying to prop each other up and make sure we all get through this and get to the I love get to the it. Games. I love uh, that camaraderie. I dig it so much. Oh my god, obsessed. Love it. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all studiers. We all know what each other's capable of and we all have our strengths and weaknesses. I mean, we're all good, but in completely different ways. Ooh, I'm awesome. very interested to see how that plays into a storyline if you guys are all split up. <laughs> Anyway, mm. anyway, um, <laughs> Jill, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, shoot it to you. Yeah, I'm going to do a random question just really, really quick, just because you mentioned it. Um, favorite wrestler of all time? <sighs> Part of me wants to say the ultimate warrior just because I loved him, but there was yep. a guy back in the day named Bad News Brown. He yes. wasn't he wasn't around for long, but he was always my favorite. Ooh. Dig it. Okay, I just had to ask that because I'm an like, old school wrestler fan, so I had to yeah. ask. Um, so, okay, so I'll ask this one again. <clears throat> um, so let's say round two – you uh, get to pick if you get to go first or second in the wheel spin. Do you go first or you do you defer? And why? It, it depends. It depends on what the current score is. It depends on what my manager wants to do. Because in the end, the end, the most important thing is scoring points for your faction. So I would definitely defer to whatever the manager wants to do. But I would have an, I would have an opinion, that's sure. But I would always defer to whatever the manager wants to do. Because... In the end, you want to you want to help your faction out. It's not about the personal glory; it's about the entire faction and lifting them up. So beautiful, love it. Uh, there was a comment in, in the chat that I did want to bring up since we do have a, a little bit more time here. Um, sure. If there is one competitor in the league that you would want to face in your debut, who would it be? <sighs> just because he was the one who sucked me into it, just to play bibs, just to have that full circle come around. I would be honored. I'd probably get my ass kicked, <laughs> but I would be honored. <laughs> so, that's brave. That's high in the sky. Let's hope that's down the line. And I've I've improved a little bit more because I've like if you see my early matches in the fan leagues, I am light years away from where I was back then. And hopefully I will continue to keep on progressing and getting better. So hopefully when that day comes, I'll be a bit more prepared than I am. Like say we were gonna go five seconds from now. But <laughs> Fair enough. We, Fair we, enough. We love Bibiani here. So, <laughs> yeah. love uh, all right, we'll wrap it up here with the uh, the POV question: favorite movie snack and favorite candy. Uh, I'm not normally a movie snack person. If I had to choose one, I'd just go nachos. No jalapenos. I can't really do 
<laughs> but I got props. Bunch of crunch. Yay! 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 It to be a popular answer tonight. But yes, bunch of crunch. Absolutely. The yeah. best mood, the, the best candy period. Hands down. Yeah. Hands it. down. 100 percent That's awesome. Oh, That's shit. awesome. Uh all right, uh crew, do we have any other questions for Peggy before we let her go? Oh, show the, the, the tweet that I sent you. Oh, you've got it right. That's right. Uh, I gotta upload that real quick. That's um uh, I'll ask just a question real quick. Um if you yeah. could can you just reach behind you and point to a DVD and tell us what it is? I've got uh, to figure oh, out too. One of my favorites. Let me pull it off the wall here. Hang on a second. A newer rom com. Long shot. Oh, oh, you did. Yeah, have not seen it yet. It is great. O'Shea Jackson Jr. steals the film as the best friend in Lance. It's a good one. Ooh. Jake, See, I'm already brilliant. impressed. I'm already impressed. I know. I've been looking. I've spotted Miss Congeniality and the Devil Wears Prada. Boom. Boom. So I love to know where they are. Oh, okay. Like, I, I see Devil Wears Prada. It's been my background for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm like... All right, what can what else can I find? This is like this is a good game that I would be. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, let me help you out there. Uh, there's Hitch and there's a bunch of random ones. How to lose a guy in ten days? All right, I've got a lot of rom coms. A lot of rom coms. How to lose a guy in ten days is one of my all time favorite rom coms. It's so a good one. Good. Um, so I do have it. It is a little blurry, but I'll go ahead and bring ah. it up. Peggy had sent this to me yesterday. Um, if it does pop up, let's see. And she had actually tweeted this at Bibbs oh, when she watched it. Was um, a couple days after I first watched Free For All 3. I just recently discovered oh. Movie Trivia Shimonen and watched Free For All 3. I must say that your uh, run from contestant number one all the way to the overtime was very impressive. The league gained a new fan who wishes she could be a competitor. Best of luck this season. And Bibbs said, thank you. That means the world to me. And if you want to compete, you should look into the fan leagues. That's how Chance and Smets got their start. Uh, and look where we are now. And look where you are. Life's crazy. Life's crazy. You just got to enjoy very the ride. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Great way to end that. Uh, and and uh, Peggy, thank you so much for, for coming on and hanging out and, you know, putting yourself in the spot a little bit. And, and hopefully it helps you in the next few weeks when the draft does come. Well, thank you for having me, guys. All right. Have Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I love all those movies back behind I, didn't know. Right? I love right? exactly where they all were. And at, fr at first I was just, I thought they were just discs, but no, it's like, you know, you take it off the wall and you play That's it. Bye, Mr. Chairman. Uh, all right, let's get it. Let's let, let's keep the ball rolling a little bit here. We have our next guest. Um, Rocky's Harloff is in the chat, so. Say it Hello, again. Mr. Harloff. Oh, Harloff there we go. Harloff. Mr. Harloff, what is up? What is up? <laughs> Um, a lot this of train is rolling. We we see we see why I tweeted the link and I, I said the managers need to tune in. So they and they have we've seen them coming through the chat. They are tuning in. I'm yeah. sure a number of them are watching without actually commenting. They might be taking notes or something. Who knows? Let's let's get to our next guest here. Uh, he is a a uh, writer for Screen Rant. He is a YouTuber himself. He's a movie reviewer. And he's coming into the showdown, and that is Mr. Tom Chattelbosch, I want to say? Almost. Tom Chattelbosch. Got it. Chattelbosch. Chattelbosch. Chattel 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 yeah. Perfect. Oh, welcome. Welcome. To be here, guys. Guys, really nice to meet you. Yeah, so uh, welcome to the uh, crazy thing that is the Schmodown community. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and start just with the, uh, the question that we've been asking everybody. Um, for those who don't know you, uh, who are you? Um, where did you come into play with the Schmodown movies, trivia, all, all right. of that? And what league are you interested in most in playing? So, I mean, I mean, you guys probably know this, but back in the day, I was actually like one of the OG -G movie reviews, like with the Schmoes, Chris Stuckman, Jeremy Johns. Got it. I don't, I don't, do you remember Spill.com back in the day? I don't know if you remember them. But uh, we were kind of like the six piece people that were there like in the beginning. So when they started the, the show, like I remember seeing like the kind of first few shows and seeing, seeing them kind of with the, the first rules and everything. Uh, and then when I went off to, to uh, like college, I kind of stopped. Uh, do movie reviews and see and stuff because I wanted to focus on that and that. But I came back, you know, the Schmo was in like full full swing. We're doing everything and everything uh, became like, like you know like WWE match. And I was like, whoa, like 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 what in here? Like, like this is just a hook off in the in the best way. Um, and I want to go into this this league and I want to try to be in be in either uh, the single singles or league because I feel like both would be like equally fun. Probably would, would prefer Teams League because I, I, I would to kind of bounce off another person and have like a fun kind of personality clash or meshing, if you will. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm psyched about this. Awesome. I love it. Uh, yeah. 
I'm, I'm like, loving well, the background too. I'm just yeah, like trying. Yeah. I mean, if you could, there's so many posters. It's overwhelming. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Try to soak it all in. Yeah. It literally did as like, like printing out a matrix poster, putting on the wall, liking how it looked. And then this happened, which was like a month process. And I thought it was gonna it was gonna fire tremendously. But everyone who I've brought in into my room is like, "Wow, I how I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. And that like that great movie. Like this is great. Like it becomes this great like like conversation starter." So I'm like, "All right, cool. Yeah. Love it." Love it. Jake, you're muted. Oh. Ryan, I will shoot it to you first on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me really wanted to just let it go. Just no, we should have. Should have. I should have. <laughs> I, should have. I would have enjoyed it. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, if there is a manager that you feel that you would be best suited to be with, who would it be? Ooh, that's a real, real soft choice. Um, <laughs> I, I do like Coy a lot. I feel like I would bounce off of him really well. Uh, I think we would get along great, and I think that he has the kind of manager style that I would really like. I also heard heard great things about Finstock. Uh, I've also heard bad bad things in a playful way. So let's not you know let's not start rumors. Uh, but I'd say probably probably either one of those. I'm not really picky. I feel like pretty adaptable, and I feel like I can kind kind of ox to whoever I'm um you know on. Fair enough. Nice. I love it. Fair enough. I love it. Uh, Molly. Yeah. So I've been asking people about wheel slices. <laughs> right. Hi, Koi. Uh, and uh, you know totally fine if you don't want to answer but is there a particular movie genre or wheel slice that you are more drawn to or if you don't want to answer that is there one that you enjoy watching other players answer questions from uh i would say like say like some favorite slices like like I mean, i'm an unabashedly huge fan of rom-coms so i am very knowledgeable in rom-coms rom uh, i love that love directors i love that i love uh, 80s or 90s they're always great for me for me um and even oscar sometimes i can i can you know, do well that category depends like i think my favorite category to watch people people kind of spin would probably be classics because because people they get asked questions you see the whole face just drop and it's incredibly entertaining <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, so the 1980s and, and 90s, right? The, the, from the yeah. 1900s. Yeah. Not, okay. yeah. not, not 18s, not 1880s or 90s. I mean, if we could do a classic, I'd be real classic about it. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna make sure, you know, you never know. Very fair, very fair. Uh, all right, Jill, I'll throw it to you. Yeah. So, what is something about you that stands out? What makes you different from either? both current competitors and the rookies that are trying to get drafted this season. What right. makes you stand out that would make a manager go, wow, I want Tom on my team? Well, I like, I mean, this is kind of a cliche start to the answer, but I would say like, I do like, like live and breathe movies. I've loved them, loved them ever since I was back to the future when I was like 11 years old. I have 14 ta tattoos, all of which are movie related. Uh, I can really only tell you the day of the month by what movies coming out that Friday. So, so like the only reason that I know, know that day is the date that it is because like WandaVision's coming out on the 5th, 15th. I kind of backtrack. <laughs> so like, that's the kind of life I lead, if that makes, makes sense. <laughs> so so like, I feel like I would be an ideal match for this week's league because like I love, love interacting with people, especially, especially people who love movies just as much as I do. I, do. I mean, when, when I was in elementary school, I was, I was the person who didn't memorize the five fates, but I knew the entire higher cast opens 11 and Jim Carrey's in tech filmography. So <laughs> <laughs> holy moly. Very fair. Very fair. I have a question that I do want to ask because you had mentioned that you, you would be much more suited for a team's atmosphere because you like playing off of someone um, from what you know of the league. Now, is there someone that you could see yourself partnering with very well? Ooh. Um, I, I do really like Mark and Draco. Draco. I really like his style. I like he's got a very like laid back, chill, like cool and confident. Like even if he's like, you know, freaking, freaking out inside, never shows it. Um, and I feel like we would bounce really well, well off of each other. Also, baby, baby, I feel he's got this really fun, bubbly personality. Now also he's extremely knowledgeable. And I feel like if there was any categories that I said, I slammed, he would help me pick up that slack in a really great, great way. Ooh. I love it. Great answer. And according to the people we've had on tonight, We've asked the question twice, and so far they have split up the odd couple. Rookie, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Drama, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> very fair, very fair. Um, all right, we'll go and finish off here with the uh, the question we've been asking everybody for POV: favorite movie snack and your favorite candy. 
Oh, no, man. It's like asking me to pick between my, my favorite kids is rough. Um, I would say... <laughs> I would probably say I like the the, the pop raisinets cuts combo, like sweet and soft, oh, salty. Yeah. And that's what I would go to. And then also I'm a big icy person. Like like I got like yes. an icy reward, like ten dollars. Like get an icy, make sure it's like a blockbuster <laughs> movie, so that that's like perfect combo. Like like remember I did months for Mission Impossible to come out just so I could use the icy for, for that movie. That's <laughs> icy. Very fair. I love it. With a huge icy with it. Let me spell oh, tell I mean, it. It's, it's yeah. a bad head. I don't know why more, more people don't do it. I don't know. <laughs> so good. Uh, well, Tom, thank you so much for stopping by real quick and, and uh, you yeah, know, thank you. Really and getting it. to, you know, getting to be in front of the community. We love getting to know the, uh, all these rookies, but it's really good to hear from you and, and knowing your history with the league and everyone involved in it from years past is really cool as well. Uh, and hopefully it gives you a chance here in the next few weeks when the draft does happen. Sounds great, guys. Guys, uh, pleasure meeting you all. Well, yeah, thank, thank you, you again. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. All right. Uh, I know an icy sounds good. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Get off of it. It's no, I, I'm not laughing at the icy fact. I'm laughing, laughing that every time one of these rookies tell us something, now we think to ourselves, uh, like Molly with the nachos. Right, she's like, oh, I keep mentioning nachos. Hungry. <laughs> Let me finish this food for a second. I've already had dinner, and I'm still like, yes, I could eat a bowl of nachos right now. I had Very a salad fair. today, Jake. A salad. Hey, I'm you know what? Friend. I mean, that's that's on you. So whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, we are in the home. We are. Our home. Bow, 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 bow. Um, we, we have three guests left, and uh, our next guest has been making a name for himself um, all over social media. Um, he's been uh, doing all kinds of videos and promotions for himself, and I'm very excited to talk to him, see what he brings to the table here on POV, and that is Jesse the Sweep Sith, Swift. Swift. Hello hey, there. Sith works cool. We could have, we could have uh, the, <laughs> sorry, the, sorry, the, the, the Sith of Sweeps. That's all good. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, guys. Um, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you for having me on. I thought I would give a... Uh, Drop the facade for a second, give you guys a little behind the curtains peek because it's been all about uh, vibrato the last couple of days. And uh, <laughs> I see that there's uh, about half of the faction leads here in the in the comments section. So there's a lot of them. <laughs> I, want them, I want them to know a little more than the face, because if they're going to uh, draft me for their faction, they're going to have me for uh, more than just social media. Right. So they got to know the me. Absolutely. There we go. That's yeah, why yeah. You're here. And who knows? All of them might be watching, but only half of them might be might be commenting so and as koi says the curtains are green, <laughs> <laughs> they are green. don't don't make the background green or animated <laughs> <laughs> can always leave it to koi can always leave it to koi. um all right jesse let, let's let's get behind behind the curtain on you just a little bit here and talk oh, it's, uh, it's like this I saw. Uh, I may not. I may not, not still have my tree up, but I do have my holidays Iron Man mug <laughs> that I'm drinking out of. I still have my tree up. No. I <laughs> just a different persona today because the last couple ones it's just been uh, all dark colors and drinking out of my Batman <laughs> mug. Love it. <laughs> hey, Koi, I'm looking for a dumb and loud faction because I can get it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's start off. So, Jesse, for those of you, for for those who don't know you, and outside of the videos that you've been posting um, on social media, who is Jesse Swift? How is his connection to the Schmodown movies, trivia, and what league are you trying to enter if drafted? Uh, I would say I am like a geek savant, which means when it comes to any other type of information that might be important, like you know, parents' birthdays or things like that, my brain's got no time for it. But it comes to uh, quotes from Man of Steel or like 1989's Batman and casting information, stuff like that. It's, you know, I, I know that better than I know my own anatomy. It's just like built in there, <laughs> solid. Uh, and I, you know, I would I would forget to uh, wake up for work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but I would remember that I have four and a half hours until I'm watching WandaVision. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, very true. I mean, that's 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 me in a nutshell. I'm I'm dedicated, and I don't think I realized how much it was like all consuming in my life until I started trying to speak with uh, the normies about it, you know. And I realized that just not everyone is on the same level. So I went out and started just seeking out that kind of level of um, 
fandoms and uh, I don't know, just I, I need to go somewhere other than workspace and things like that. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only person that uses the word normies and I, I feel bad about it, but it's just, it's just normies. I am just now realizing and loving all the baby, the baby with the pirate <laughs> hat, and oh my gosh, that is incredible! Like you can't, it's not much to look at, but there's a, that all down there is a pop collection going along there. Uh, Captain America, I love it. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't, I don't even want to. <laughs> <laughs> it goes all did, the way around the room, guys. <laughs> I did just sell a box of them though. So, um, I, I gotta say that I'm looking. I'm trying to watch the comment section too. And we quirk, we murk, and we smirk needs to be attached to the new like uh, logo. Oh, art it needs to be a shirt. It needs to be a t-shirt that needs to be on the back of a quirky oh. t-shirt. You know how many but, t-shirts are planned right now? We have so many t-shirts that we need. Like and just the, the, list. the problem is that um, you can't say we twerk because that would be uh, Kate. <laughs> I mean, you can, but... <laughs> Kate should just change it to the twerky mercs. And then I think yeah. that would be... <laughs> that would be an interesting faction. I mean, you have Bibiani and Brennan Meyer on that faction. That'd be a very interesting faction. Um, <laughs> I mean, tempting, Kim tempting, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Molly, I'll go ahead and throw it to you first. You had a question for Jesse? Yeah, so I've been asking people about wheel slices and and movie genres. So since since you are more geared towards IG, if you're not comfortable giving away anything, that's totally fine. But is there a particular uh, genre of inner geekdom that you prefer or are more drawn to? So I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of the scoop that I wasn't giving anybody else a little bit of a hint on to some of the, some of the strengths and weaknesses, but I, I hesitate to say weaknesses because uh, as I've said before, um, there are things, maybe a little bit of fancy, a little bit of the sci-fi that I'm not as strong in. However, I'm blessed that both with uh, my fiance and her family, uh, they know so much more about those than I do. So it's just like, I have it right there. Like it's an arm's reach away and I can get to it. Um, her dad has a whole collection of every Star Trek movie. They have all the Lord of the Rings extended cuts and uh, our first date, actually, I was like, uh, come on over and we'll pick, we'll pick a movie to, to watch. Cause, um, and she's like, well, how about I bring over the extended cuts of Lord of the Rings? And I said, wow. <laughs> All right, let me start saving for a ring right now. Perfect. <laughs> that's that's a four hour commitment. Yeah. <laughs> right? Really? She must have liked me. She yeah. must have liked me. And she's still she's still around. So I think that was a that's a good hint. Um I, I run a, a small podcast of my own and we spend a lot of times talking about uh comic book material. I mean anything that falls under the geek category, but I would say I have a strong leaning towards anything Marvel, DC. I mean, if you want to get Image Dark Horse and stuff like that too. Um, I don't know how many big time comic book readers we have in the group here. I'm fairly new to some of the after shows, but uh, getting caught up on it. Anyone read Saga? No. Mm -hmm. oh. I need to catch up on my comics, man. I'm behind. Koi, Koi knows about Saga. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's. I guess that's where, that's where I lean, but everything is fair game and i'm excited there's nothing that i'm groaning about you know everyone's got like that one wedge like i have to study for this i'm excited like i've avidly watched the star <laughs> trek reboot stuff and i can uh i can get with that really easily anytime that those come up in the questions whether it be like who played jayla or um i'm trying to think of some of the other questions up there but those come to me pretty easily um the older ones admittingly got a little bit of studying to do but like I said, they're all right there. And that's one of the things I'm most excited to do is sit down and binge the Star Trek movies. And I got my notepad right here. And I've been encouraged to take at least 100 notes per movie. Yeah, I won't say by who, but I'll say that I've talked to somebody or at some least. people. At least. Yeah, no, emphasis on at least. Yeah. Emphasis on that. Uh, all right, Brian, why don't you go ahead and follow that up with a question? Uh, well, now I before I ask my real question, now I need to know: Are were you a uh, Team Cap or Team Iron Man? So, uh, Team Cap always and forever, and that comes from yes. you see this right here. Yes. I can do, I can do this all day. Yes, um, okay. and that comes from. I mean, I know there's factions out there that are asking me if I can if I can turn heel. Of course, I would love to. But if we're <laughs> just talking about uh, basic morality, if you've read the Civil War comics, Tony. Mm -hmm is even less likable in the comics. And he's like the clear straight up villain, just yeah. straight douche. 
But uh, the movies, I understood Tony. I was like, it was like when you have a friend that's just making bad choices and you kind of want to bring them in. And it's like, I get where you're coming from, but you're wrong. And Cap Cap doesn't come away, you know, scot free in that movie. He makes some mistakes of his own. But if we're calling teams, Cap, sorry, oversplaining. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't even care about my schmodown question anymore now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, if you had a preferred uh, manager that you think you would work very well with, who would you choose, and why? So it's more like, what's my favorite half of the managers? Because that's <laughs> rough, um, and. I, I I can I know from the comments that not everybody or it seems like not every manager has been um, in all my appearances or gotten to see some things I've had to say. So they've missed me bringing up uh, Koi John Drew because I've known him since Marvel Movie News and followed him through Collider Heroes. And I've been a big fan with him. And I said uh, just blatantly that I think the most fun I could have on a faction would be with the Quirky Mercs. Uh, and then I think that not only do I want to just score points for the factions, but I want to help build the factions themselves and help study with them and bring everybody up and just get the most potential out of them and kind of be like, you know, if, if allowed to, or if I get to that point, like a co-faction head, not in name, but just in spirit. Uh, but rocks again, Roxy Stryer uh, with a DC movie news. You know, I watched that. Of course, this was anything that was, with popcorn talk and a collider movie or collider movie talk and stuff like that, that whole circle, I've been following that group for a long time, which is one of the reasons why I'd love to go against Mike Kalinowski. Uh, so there's not really, um, I don't know, like a number one pick. Uh, I think there's some really interesting things happening with the Finstock exchange and they may not be uh, the popular choice at the moment, but I think that I would be very happy to, uh, see what I could do with them because they have uh, a, a big presence in inner geekdom and it, being that that's where I want to go. I think who better to study with than like barbarian, right? Um, yeah, I don't, point. It's a really good point. Yeah. And then, Oh, sorry. I forgot. I forgot one of my final points corruption, but not for the reason that everybody thinks my favorite video game is mortal Kombat with a K. So it makes <laughs> sense that I want to go to Crush. Uh, okay, right? There you go. Okay. Um, all right, Jill, I'll give it to you to, to finish off with the hard hitters. Yeah, so what about you makes you different from the current IG competitors and the IG competitor rookies? What makes you stand out? What makes you different? I think I have an advantage in a few manners. One is that uh, it's commitment. And there's... This is what my mind's been on. Ever since the draft list came out and I saw my name on there, I got to be honest, my work, uh, how well I work <laughs> during the day has gone right down the toilet because this is the only thing my mind's thinking about. I pull out my phone. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm like taking notes about inner geekdom and stuff. And I'm responding to messages. I'm booking appearances. Like this is all my brain's been. And I imagine what that's going to become. I'm going to say once I get drafted by a faction, because this is me just going off of hope and uh, a feeling. And I think once I actually get there, it's going to be, it's going to be a whole nother level. So I'd say commitment really easy to work with. I'd be excited to be part of a faction. And I'd be excited to study with everybody, bring them up because I think everybody in the league, even the highest point earners could be better. And I think that's something that we need to bring uh, next year, especially with uh, the new elements in place, like what the you know kind of the punishment of getting a TKO. So let's let's bring some of the other factions down a peg. It's just uh, who wants the ultimate weapon. Ooh, I love it, Fair enough. Oh. I love it. Confidence, Beautiful. confidence. I love it. Uh, all right, we'll finish off with the with the POV question here. Favorite movie snack and your favorite candy. All right, so um, I'm not – occasionally I like candies. Uh, have you guys had the – they're not really at the theaters, but like the Haribo Twin Snakes, those little sour snakes uh, that I like to get. They're super good. There's like there's, They don't have the sour crystals on them or it's just like sour juice. Uh, those are super good. But if it's like theater snack, there's only really – I'm pretty basic. There's one thing I get. It's not popcorn, though. It is like those Bavaria pretzels, the soft pretzels, oh, the yeah. things that are just like <laughs> a pound yes. of great pretzel with some cheese. <laughs> And it's like, oh, made for sharing. I'm like, not for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> sharing with who? I'm sitting through Endgame six times this week. What are you talking about? <laughs> Very Love fair. It. True. So true. Um, all right. Well, do we have any other, any final questions for Jesse before we let him go? No, man. Kudos, dude. Rocked it. 
Good wow. luck. Yeah, keep. Uh, I gotta say, keep keep uh, keeping up with the social media stuff because I know you're making a presence for yourself on there, and that's that's a big deal, obviously, in the Chipotle out being that it's so wide, it's such a variety of people ever, everywhere, and um, you're doing a great job so far. So so good luck with everything here in the next couple weeks, man. Thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate it, and I hope that uh, there's time for us to link up and do something again soon. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. All right, have a good one, Jesse. Good yeah. luck. Have a good one. Take it easy. Thank you. Bye. Ooh. All right. Two guests left. Two guests left. Uh, our next one is waiting, and we'll bring him in right now. Um, he is a former fan leaguer, uh, actually a former fan league champion, and that is Mr. Jacob London is joining Jacob. us. Hi. What's up? A red Hi, Hayes. Okay. Okay. After, after, yeah. after the way everyone was talking, I had to go wear this. Like, I, I, I just <laughs> I had to. And and I don't know if you can see, but this is actually a um, one of the championship hat that I got oh. when I got to see them win the 2018 championship. So that was pretty good. <laughs> Brian, Brian, I mean, you're already high on Brian's draft board. <laughs> <You're tired. You're laughs> That's all he needed. That's all he needed. I'm I'll, I'll I'll cheer for any sport. I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, for, for those who are embedded in the Shmo now and may even watch the fan leagues, they they know who you are. But for those who don't, and and maybe just watch just the Shmo now or or the SEN shows or whatever, um, who is Jacob London? How is his connection to the Shmo now movies trivia? And then what league are you trying to enter once uh, if you are drafted here in the next couple weeks? So Jacob London is a very old school fan leaguer. He uh, hasn't been around for about three years. So I I was the first ever fan leaguer to win a, a belt and the first ever one to um, defend one. I also was outside of the rundown, the creator of the Reactors Summit. So on take three. Um, that was my that was my big claim to fame is that I was a huge huge <laughs> and anal uh, analytical guy for the Schmodown and that's what we did on take three. Um, I've been following the Schmodown. I've been following Christian and Mark for 10 years now. So uh, the year reviewers movie awards, I were something that I fell in love with and that's how I really met all of these guys. And uh, I have loved the Schmodown for ever since uh, JTE, pronounced a word wrong so, <laughs> so <good. laughs> yeah or something like that so uh yeah i've been that's how long i've been um in love with the showdown uh singles is probably where i would perform the best however i do really want to get into inner geekdom uh, the other thing people probably don't know about me is i'm australian uh so i don't live in the us uh it is currently uh, nearly two o'clock in the afternoon here, and I'm on my lunch break right now. So, oh yeah, you're <laughs> uh, in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Friday. Uh, so <laughs> at six, and I I get the best time because at six p.m. on a Friday night is when WandaVision drops. So oh, that, oh, I don't have to stay no. up until three a.m. Oh, or twelve totally. or anything. Oh. So it's yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that tonight. But yeah, um, I would really like to do Inner Geekdom as well. Uh, it's not where my strength is, but I do have a lot of inner geekdom knowledge that it surprises me a lot whenever we i watch the inner geekdom matches i go oh i knew that oh i knew that and it, it's it's quite happens a lot whereas in singles is really my strength and is where my big strength is I like it, I like it. I like it. uh I like brian it. i'll go ahead and uh, start with you uh i've been lost in the mysticism of the red sox hat the australian accent uh the star wars poster behind you sorry um, who is a manager that you would think that you would mesh really well with and, uh, work well with as a player under? So my big thing that I want from a manager is someone who I can learn from. Um, I'm not coming into this league thinking I'm going to be a champion this year. I'm a rookie It's pro and, I, and I'm in, an international rookie at that. It's probably not going to happen, but I want to be able to learn from a manager who is going to help me become a better player for the future. And I think that's something that a lot of rookies and a lot of players aren't going to take into this year. They, they, they don't check their egos at the door. Uh, my ego is very firmly checked at the door and it's very much, this is, this is something that, I want to learn from managers. So I think someone like Koi or Roxy or Shannon would be fantastic. I love that honesty. 
Yeah. I love Three it. very <laughs> different types of managers, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> managers. <laughs> uh, Molly, what do you got? Um, so I've been asking everyone about wheel slices and the movie genres that they prefer. So is there a particular genre of movie? And I, I see you have that Force Awakens poster back there. So I, I'm especially excited about that. Um, um, but yeah, is there, is there a particular slice on the wheel that you would prefer to land on or? I'm the weird one. I really good with movie release dates i oh. am really good with that um I, and most most of it comes down to i can pick i i'm actually able to remember the the actual year and uh, not get within one or two months like I, I i i'm pretty good with remembering just because for some reason my brain can uh, that's what i've associated with movies is the real is when they release like my collection is in release order not alphabetical because i'm a Ooh. weird person like that that's the first time i've ever heard of that that's i am cool. impressed by that yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's just how i do it I bet <laughs> just shivered in his boot. hey look, um, uh, i actually did see how i would have gone in that movie release dates thing and i would have come second i would have beat mance but um bateman would have beat me which is unfortunate <laughs> all you need is 60 days yeah <laughs> And that's, that's the number now, 60 days. <laughs> uh, Jill, I'll shoot it over to you. What do you got? Yeah, so I, you've obviously competed. You are a former fan leagues champion. Um, but other than that, because obviously saying that you are a fan leagues champion is a big boost for you, and that's definitely something to note. What is something else other than that that makes you stand out from current competitors, current rookies? What makes you different that you think will draw a manager to want to draft you? I think, again, going by what I've been listening to from every all the other rookies, a lot of them are coming out swinging, thinking I'm going to be the next best player. I don't think any any of our rookies are going to be the next best player this year, and I, I don't think you want some. Uh, you want players who are going to try and win. 10, 15 matches this year because they're just not going to get the chance. You want someone to come in who's going to be strong for two or three matches, who can get you those two or three matches, and that's all you need this year before you can then put the established guys in. You don't want to waste a second or a third round pick on someone who's not going to, who is a big, who talks a big game but can't deliver. Instead, you can get someone who is pretty confident in themselves but isn't bigging themselves up and get them for a third round or, or a fourth round and get you three matches. Cause th- that's ultimately what's worth more is those points. You, w- you would rather a competitor who's able to going to get you those three games and win those three games than someone who is talks a big game and then loses in their first one. Great answer. I love it. I, that's a beautiful answer. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's a unique one tonight. That's for sure. I have a quick question before we move on to our POV question. Um, you know, being that you, you said that you're a little bit more comfortable in singles, it's kind of what you wanted to do, what you, you're going for. Is there someone that you would love to face in your debut if given the opportunity? So I have been thinking about this. And look, uh, the one I would really like to face is probably David Campbell, uh, the rookie. The reason yeah. for the reason for that is he's Scottish and uh, Australia, Australians and the UK. You know, Australians and UK, we just have a natural rivalry. So I, it's it's something I would like to to just be able to you know, country proud and defend my honor. Love That's it, good. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> just the accents alone, I just be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give them their own tournament. <laughs> very fair um all right well we'll wrap it up here with our with our pov question uh do you have a favorite movie snack and or candy this question's cruel because before i came over to the states i my probably was something like maltesers or something like that which is an aussie one and then uh we went to a movie and i had uh pretzels <laughs> which you don't we, like soft pretzels i had you know the the pretzel yeah. bites oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. we can't get those here so uh i don't have them now to go to movies and it sucks because oh, those no. were really good <laughs> well i'm uh, never well, you guys I'm have tim tams yes much. we do tim tams are great tim tams oh 
man, I, I, we have some Australian friends that send us some like once or twice a year, and we were like, "Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tim Tim Tams are pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so, you know, okay. outside of pretzels, do you have a favorite candy? Uh, candy. Um, I mean, it's probably go with timeouts, but they're not an American brand, so yeah. you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. It <laughs> sounds cool. It sounds delicious. Uh, 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 wafer, basically just like a wafer biscuit with chocolate over it. Ooh. Oh. Mm. So, yeah. Ooh. Anything yeah. chocolate, yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Are wheat bix, yes or no? Uh, as a kid, I loved them. I haven't had them in years. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I had a friend but, that... Yeah had to have them had to <laughs> no have that's them. fair that's that's fair i can understand yeah. that so um our crew will in, in, oh here we go you're high oh god there you go uh any final questions for jacob before we let him go uh i'm just gl glad we were finally to get you on here i know we've been talking about it for a hot second yeah 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 thank you for i mean i'm I look, I'm looking forward to if, even if I don't get drafted, I'd love to just be able to come here and talk Schmodown because it's fantastic. And I, you know, this, this was my bread and butter. This is what I used to do. I, I loved talking this for the longest yep. time and then uh, took a break and been wanting to try and get back into it for a long time. But yeah, it, I've Dan yeah, been really looking forward to it. Household. So take <laughs> Dan, we love, we appreciate. So yeah. So great. So great to have you on here. And yeah, for sure. Whatever yeah. happens, it, we would love to have you back on. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you well, so uh, much for that. Yeah, yeah, Jacob, you, you're welcome anytime, and, and hopefully this this helps managers notice who you are if they don't know who you are already. And uh, good luck to everything in the next few weeks here. Thank you. Thanks, All right, Jacob. have a good one. Good luck. All right, we got one guest left, and uh, he is he has been in the waiting room for a little bit. So let's just go ahead and bring him on right now. Um, a name that I didn't recognize, but then we saw his audition tape posted in the Facebook group. And I was very excited to talk to this gentleman. Um, and that is Mr. Felix Moritz. What is up, hey, man? Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, chaos of after shows and <laughs> I love it. It's something I can get used to. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that, no one has said that comment tonight. No one has yeah. said that comment tonight. That's that good. Me. I know. That, that caught me off guard. I was like, oh. oh That's okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so... We don't know much about you, and, and we saw the audition tape, and it was great, by the way. Uh, great, you, yeah. but for those who don't or maybe didn't see the audition tape, who is Felix Morit? What is the connection to movies, trivia, Schmodown, and what league are you trying to enter once uh, once drafted? If if so, yeah, totally. I, I, it's kind of a, a long answer in terms of uh, who I am. Um, if you've seen my audition tape, uh, it's like a five minute monologue. Uh, back in a whole different lifetime, I, I was an actor accredited via SAG. Um, so I, I think that's kind of where that comes from. I, I love all that character work that the Schmodown brings, but my love for film uh, came from birth. Uh, when I was born, my dad was over at Warner Brothers Studios and uh, he ended up migrating over to the TV world at CBS and kind of UPN when that was a thing. But I've been inundated with it since I was a kid. Uh, nowadays, uh, I'm a associate director for media uh, working on Amazon's TV and film. So. Literally every second of every day is movie for me. Um, but for you know why I'm here, I, I think singles and, and teams are, are definitely my league. As much as I love, you know, my my inner geekdom, I have my Marvel here. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it, it as you guys have been saying all night. It would take me at least sixty days to kind of brush it off and, and really be able to dive into that. <laughs> we need that. Okay, Th this has to be a T-shirt. Sixty days. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Sixty days, has yeah, 60 to days be or above. The thing now. You, guys yeah. should, you see what you did. You see what you started. Yeah. <laughs> sixty days. Yeah. Well, well, you already caught my attention for for working for Am Amazon Studios. Is that what you said? Yeah. So I, I technically don't work for Amazon Direct. They have they uh, hire our company, and we're, we're their only client. So essentially, like I. I Offset work for them, but yeah, uh, Amazon film and and, and series. That's so, so tell me every so tell me everything you know about the new Lord of the Rings. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I, I I know nothing other than that bio that dropped, but I did hear about that series. I mean, years and years ago, and I put my hand up right away to say I don't care when this gets released. Like that needs to be the campaign that I'm working on. 
Yeah, it, it's so funny, Molly. We we expected about the Lord of the Rings, but I was going to ask about Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like the one of the greatest shows on television right now, and it's Amazon. I was like, oh my god, Amazon. I did. I didn't Mrs. work on that show, but I did work on uh, Rachel Brosnahan's movie that came out a couple weeks ago called "I Am Your Woman." Um, so tangentially, you know, there, but yeah, everyone in our office. That's a it's a big campaign when it comes around. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, all right, Brian, I'll shoot it to you first, man. You got a question? Uh, is there a manager that you think that you would work well with or managers? Yeah. Um, I, I it's a, it's an interesting question, obviously, cause I don't want to offend any managers. So uh, I'll keep it political in the sense of it really depends not only the manager, but who else they're drafting. Right. I think I said up top, you know, I, I want to be in singles, but also in team. So there ideally would be a partner that kind of helps offset some of the weaknesses uh, that I currently have. Obviously, I'm, I'm working on those. I'm, I'm pulling a Ben Bateman and forcing my significant other to help train me, which I hope doesn't end in the same kind of path. But um, I, I, what, I, what I'm looking for is somebody who is willing to um, obviously help coach me, but also have an inverse relationship. Uh, I know um, you guys saw my original um, post about like the uh, audition, but I put another one in there about a, an Excel solver uh, that I've been working on to try and not only predict the outcome of points going into a match that uh, adjust based off the wheel slices that you're going into, but it can predict the number of steals that somebody's going to get, how often they're going to check the multiple choice and that kind of stuff. So uh, I, I'm looking for a manager who's willing to allow me to at least present it to the team. Because I think in a year where you're going to have points taken off or TKOs, making sure you have that edge for every single point, having a cheat sheet for a manager that says, okay, we got opponent's choice. There's no debate. Instantly, I, I would have given you the sheet that says, this is what you pick. Whoever is willing to kind of let me at least try that out with them and, and try and help grow the entire faction, I'm cool with, with whoever that is. Wow. Ooh, That's know. a wow. whole other way of looking That's at this a, game. Wow. Yeah. Man, you about a whole other aspect. You got like analytics going in. <laughs> and, and Damon just <laughs> woke up in a deep sweat and said, oh my God, I just got <laughs> That might have I been mean, Frank that woke up too. I know Frank right? just woke up in a deep sweat. Like, what? David, David Sackrider. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can find any of my any of my posts in the Facebook group. They're tagged with hashtag Schmoneyball. Schmoneyball. Oh, love it. Yeah. Fancy. Fancy. I like it. Fancy. That was great. Well, I mean, that was a great first question. So wow. now you want to follow that up? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I've been asking everyone about um, the wheel slices in yeah. movie genres, and uh, if if there's a particular movie genre or wheel slice that you are more drawn to, uh, you think that you would be better at, or if you don't want to reveal your, your hand or your cards, so they say. Um, uh, a category that you enjoy watching other people's play in. No, uh, I'll, I'll answer. It, it's almost a cop-out answer because I kind of hinted at it at the start where obviously I, I work for uh, a studio. It's a streaming studio. So I know a lot of those films don't make it into showdown questions. But uh, part of what I do is uh, the competitive research, which is you know why I love numbers and analytics and goes back to that solver that I was working on. So new releases is typically an easier category for me. Mm -hmm. um, every month at uh, on average or every quarter we do a big competitive report and you know I, I, I have to run through that and look at all the films that are quoted making a, a certain threshold with their their box office amount so I know those movies inside and out because I read about them every day I have my deadline alerts for uh, new movies that haven't come out yet so if somebody wants to ask me a question on Cherry which that trailer dropped this week I've been following it for over a year when the oh. Rooster Brothers were negotiating it uh, via prison cell calls uh, <laughs> So, I mean, it, like, it, it's been my world, but uh, I would say, you know, I have a pretty broad knowledge. I, I, I won't get into weaknesses, obviously, in case anyone's watching, but um, a, a fun fact about me, which was in that post is, you know, I once took a week off of work to log every movie I've ever seen since birth. Like, I am dedicated to making sure I, I know everything that I've seen and then a reference point to going back to it. When I, I read that, I, I, I got dropped my, I could not believe yeah. that someone went back <laughs> that far to log every single movie ever. Like, oh, uh, I, had to, I had to call my mom and say like, okay, 
from ages <laughs> one to three, I need you to let me know. Cause I, I easily could have forgotten those. And it's like, we're back at dinosaur story, land before time, all that kind of stuff. Dinosaur story. I love yes. that movie. It's such I an love- underrated dinosaur movie. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I love that movie. Oh, wow! Yeah! Wow! Uh, that's that's wow. amazing. That's that's wow. that's dedication right there. Yeah, that's I awesome. It. That I mean, engraved in movies. What what else do you guys want? Um, <laughs> Jill, uh, hard hitter. What do you got? Yeah, I'll I'll shoot back to my scenario question. So let's, let's say you're it. in a final round of a tournament or a championship match. You are in the betting round. Let's say you are down by one point. You spin the wheel and you land on a slice that both you and your opponent are okay at. It's not your strength. It's not your weakness. You're okay at it. So you're bo- you're down by one. You're both okay yeah. at this slice. What do you bet and why? So again, I'll, I'll give you a cop out answer just based off something I've already said. I, I think I would I would refer to my manager because hopefully I would have built a sheet on my opponent. Um, I've done a couple just as an exercise coming into this, so I can say. I won't say who it is. Um, their manager is watching, uh, but I, I built a sheet on one of their uh, competitors who has a very high perfect first round rate. I think it's of 86%, something like that. Mm-hmm. On average, they're betting two, pending if they don't know what it is and they have a lead. So I would take that math into it and try and figure out how many points I need. Obviously, there's still the betting round and then the final round. So how many points can I afford to be down by to catch up? I don't know the number offhand. I think, you know, instinctually, I'd probably say two just because it's the safe bet and would obviously allow me to leapfrog if if they miss. But um, I, I would I would defer to my manager. Hopefully, we would have had a conversation beforehand about how that plays out. Wow. I, I, I am loving this so much because I'm a I'm born and raised an A's fan. So Moneyball is like in oh, my blood. Yes. It's, it's in my blood. I just all of this stuff that is happening. And I, I played baseball my entire life. So I'm just thinking right. to myself, Oh my God, Moneyball in the showdown! Like, what could be better? Like, I'm what? not, a, I'm, I'm not a, a an A's guy, but I am a Cali uh, guy. I'm Los Angeles born and raised. There, there we go. go. There yeah. we go. I Perfect. just love how how thought out uh, the process is for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, it, it's been an evolution. In, in my first post in the Facebook group, I really respected when you know Ben came in the league. Not his first couple years. Not that I didn't respect him, but. <laughs> He, he approached it like most Schmodown people did at that time, which was, hey, I know a lot about movies. I, I think he was on After Buzz at the time. Um, I, I can hang. And that's back in the day when Andrew Guy was the better player, right? He obviously changed the way he studied, but he also was the first person to expose that Bibiani was weak at Pixar, which Bibbs has uh, you know, done really well to rectify that. But that moment, I think, has stuck with me. Thinking about that, it doesn't matter who you are, Dan Merle, Adam Collins, there's going to be a, a category you're weak in, and it might not be obvious when you're walking away every match at 90% accuracy, but when you look at the hole and you take a step back, it's there. The, the, the numbers are going to show it. That's incredible. Wow. So true. A new yeah. way to look at the game. I love yeah. it. I love it. Managers are probably looking for that that slight crack, and you very well may be, could be that crack, you know? I mean, yeah. yeah. It's I very hope so. Love it. Um, all right, let, let's get to the, the fun question of this, the, the POV side of it here. Uh, you know, you're a movie guy. It's yeah. kind of you know, daily life. Do you have a favorite movie snack and a favorite candy? This actually probably isn't the fun question for me, and I'll say why. My favorite movie <laughs> snack is, is an Icy. The reason being is I've paired an Icy down the years with candy where it's gone from, and I'm, I'm sorry, Molly, I, I'm a Red Vine guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, That's and okay. Then I went, yeah, and then I went to Sour Patch Regular, Sour Patch Watermelon, Reese's, and now I, I do my IC with my uh, peanut M&Ms. But mm. my favorite candy, I actually, um, I have had, I don't know how to look at it anymore, a sugar addiction. And I was once hospitalized for having too much sugar in oh. a single day. Oh. <laughs> so I, I scaled obviously like way back in my lifetime with the, with the candy. So I would say something like a, a Swedish fish I still like. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, <laughs> but it, it, it gets dangerous. I do have a cabinet that's out of shot, um, which, you know, is really for me and my girlfriend, but it's just full of candy. Oh, love <laughs> it. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I have to throw this comment up because it was about what we were talking about, but I'm stupid <laughs> to not know what I'm smart enough to know. <laughs> Sounds about right, Tom. Sounds great. Sounds about right. Bobby Gucci. Um, yeah, so I, I do have a question, though, because I, I you said uh, uh, yeah. singles. 
um, teams is kind of what you're interested in. But I, I wanted to ask kind of a two parter. We've asked it throughout the night, but do you have someone that you would love to debut against? And that's someone that you would love to partner with down the road? Yeah, I, I will. From, from a debut standpoint, I, you know, Christian talked about it. I do think it makes sense to go up against another rookie. It also, I think, helps prove me out a little bit more when I'm talking about all this analytics and all that kind of stuff. I have no tape unless it's somebody who's been a fan leaguer. And even still, the question uh, writing is a little bit different as to how they do it here. It might not match up. So, I, I you know, I, it doesn't matter who it is. I, I think a rookie would be really exciting. However, if I had my choice, it doesn't work out anymore. Josh, uh, the wild man, Makuga. Um, <laughs> I have I have my my whiskey and bourbon collection over there, a little bit out of frame below, and I would love to go question to shot with him. Oh, <laughs> one, one if you get it right, two if you get it wrong, and let's just see how that plays out. Oh Jesus! Oh, my yeah. nightmare. Oh. And then, sorry, what, what was part two of that question? Uh, a future partner, future partner. Oh, future partner. I mean, I, I think, again, it comes down to who would be willing to kind of uh, adopt, if it works, right, that shmoney ball mentality. I know somebody like a Ben Bateman and Apollo Yama have talked about it. I think Brendan Meyer has also mentioned uh, his, you know, willingness to work with that kind of analytical side. I think those people would be great. Um, I don't necessarily see that they're taking on some of the weaknesses I have. I think potentially somebody like uh, an Eric Zipper who's really well-rounded, but also has that inner geekdom side, which, you know, again, I, I love my comic book movies. I'm going to be watching WandaVision tomorrow. Super excited for that. It's not a world that I fully live in at the moment, not something that I'm opposed to doing, but I think if we're going to jumpstart something, that's probably someone I would go towards. I love it. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. As a friend of Eric Zipper's, you and Eric Zipper would be. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I will say, going back to the the Makuga match, Chuck says uh, that's a one round match. <laughs> <laughs> and Cor that is true. Cor says, as an Irishman, I endorse this gameplay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh my god. Um, well, Felix, uh, again, thank you so much for hanging out with us for a little bit, coming on. Uh, yeah. we got This opportunity to be out in front of the league and the community and and our viewers, and hopefully it, it helps your chances here in the next couple weeks. And we can't wait to see uh, what happens in the next few weeks and down the road. Yeah, again, thank you all for, for having me on. I think this whole thing was uh, amazing. Great to see all the rookies from David Campbell down to myself. Um, for any managers that are watching, uh, my DMs are open. If you would prefer me to reach out to you, I don't know how I would know that because Christian said don't reach out. It might be <laughs> off, but my handle is uh, down here. Feel free to, to, to reach out. But, yes, thank you all again for having me on. Awesome. Well, thank good luck. You. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thank everybody. You. Thank you. All right. Ooh, what a whirlwind. Hard time. Oh my gosh. They're all, They're all good. good. So many good people. So many I am people. I am not envious of the managers. No, not in the slightest. I'm with what Koi said earlier. How am I supposed to pick? Like we love you, Koi. <laughs> be, be the fourth oh wheel God. anytime. Fifth, fifth wheel, essentially. <laughs> but, you know. Fourth, fourth <laughs> fifth. And, you know, speak your piece and you're more than welcome, but I do not have any, I do not feel bad for all of you. <laughs> Is it bad that I didn't even catch that? Like no. until he said it, I was like, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Got it. Math. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. Now I got it now. We're good now. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, what do you, what do you guys think about uh, all these rookies that we saw tonight? I mean, the future of the Shmodan looks pretty bright, huh? I mm. mean, uh, the future of the Shmodan is, is huge. Like we can, we can all agree on that. And it breaks my heart. Just the the amount of talent that is coming in at, at an incredible speed. Like we we saw what Adam Collins did. These these could all be Adam Collinses coming at us yeah. from all directions. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't think anyone is ready for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> these rookies are astounding. They're amazing. These rookies. And like I've said multiple times, I, I do, I'm glad I'm not a manager right now because I would be having a, a field day. I, I would I, be, I would be, I would be anxiety ridden going, who do I pick? I, I, I would look like the Chris Farley gif where he's pulling his hair out and like okay. yelling into the ether, not mm -hmm. knowing what to do. Because you would, because you you have your old faction, who I'm assuming these managers would like to keep some of their original faction. 
and then all these new rookies coming in and it's it's uh, have fun and <laughs> yeah and what's so cool is that they're all so vastly different from each they're other all, yeah. all of their personalities are so different they look at the game so different um and it, it's such it's so cool because even a lot of these rookies they're different from players that we currently have in the game Mm -hmm. uh, and now after talking to them and meeting them officially, I understand why they are in the draft. I oh, understand 100%. why their audition tapes stood out over the rest of them. Yep. 100%. Yeah. There's I feel like, here. I feel like I, if I was a manager, I'd be like that little kid that has all the toys and your parents like pick one. And I'm like, oh. I'm taking them all. I want them all. Like, <laughs> they, Peggy, there you go. Oh my God, that was a Hamilton reference. And Peggy. Yeah. <laughs> it went, oh, um, um go ahead brian sorry yeah ahead. no i was just gonna say i mean every single person that we talked to today was fantastic is unique and like is gonna bring a strength to any team they're on i uh, i was blown away absolutely blown away uh, they did very, very well, very right. well. Go ahead. And I want to see every single one of them play every, yeah. literally every single one I want to see play. Uh, I do want to say before, before we talk about anything else, um, if you did like one of the players or one of the rookies, multiple, all of them tweet at the managers with their names, right? Yes. It just flood them with the information about these rookies that you may think it may be a good fit or that needs to be drafted. Get their name out there. That's why we made sure they included all of their handles on social media so you guys could find them. Um, it's a lot to put them in the description, but if you guys just scroll back through the video, you can see their handles on, on screen. Um, just flood the managers in the community with their names if you think that one of these is a great fit or multiple of them. That's why exactly why we wanted to do this. And thankfully, a lot of managers were in the chat probably watching, if not commenting, um, and hopefully we were able to help just a little bit, uh, get these, these rookies out there for, for, uh, future Smodown. See, I would be coy right now. A hundred percent. Very yeah. true. Very true. So, uh, we just expanded the faction number. Yeah. Um, there's faction now. <laughs> uh, I did want to mention as well, while everyone is here, uh, Sunday show, we are continuing the rookie train. Um, uh, we are continuing the rookie train. We're going to have three rookies joining us. We're going to have Beth made a start. Uh, Beth May will join us at the very beginning of the show, and then we will be uh, we will be followed by um, Star Wars Dragon Con players um, Zach Burkett and Marie Wilson. The two of them will be joining us as well. Uh, you will see them on Sunday show, which will be a, a great time. Um, you know, three people who are very new uh, to the Schmodown community as far as playing, and so we're going to be excited to talk about them. But don't forget as well uh, on Saturday, five o'clock Pacific time, right here on the channel, we got this beauty. It is officially happening. Our first episode of Happy Hour with Jill and Molly. Um, Laura Kelly will be our guest on that show. Um, you guys can hang out and uh, hang out with Jill, Molly, and Laura and have a great time talking all kinds of random stuff, playing games. Uh, also, some rapid fire questions, which will come into play. And uh, if you're interested, we have actually a, uh, a drink, a uh, special drink that is up on our Twitter you guys can make for the show. It is a signature drink that will be made by these two. Um, oh, I got my got it all backwards. Uh, we'll see if we can make it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jill's, so, yeah, uh, Jill's already made it. I have. I still need to go get this stuff to make it. Very good. It's there. Oh, you go. And there you go. God. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna wrap up our uh, very lengthy but well needed and a lot of fun uh, rookie drafty special. Uh, I will say this to all of you rookies: good luck on everything. Uh, we are we are very happy that we could give you a spotlight a little bit tonight for those who did not recognize you, didn't know the name, managers who didn't know who you were, and hopefully it helps you in the next couple of weeks. We're going to continue it in the next couple of shows. We also have some interviews coming up next week with some people as well that you'll know um, for rookies getting their name out as well. So come back for that as well. Uh, crew, any final words on uh, on tonight? Good luck, managers. Tune <laughs> Seriously, I, have fun. I, I wish we could have all the rookies on. I do you know. too. Yeah, any any rookies or, yeah. or if you're watching anybody that you don't know has come on the show yet, our DMs are open. Uh, they're they're open. We would love to do even just we could do another show like this. We can interview you personally, just individually. Uh, we are happy to have anybody on the show um, to get your name out there. So if you're you know not know don't know how to contact anybody, um, 
send us a, a DM on Twitter. You can also Facebook message me directly. Um, I'm a part of the Facebook group. You can search me there and just message me, which is how a number of people got in contact with me. So we'd love to have anybody on. Um, you are more than welcome to become on POV. Come join Thank you so the much. Thank you, Koi. Your, your insight is not horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's going to wrap up the award show tomorrow. Huh? For everyone oh, tune in. Awards oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. For, 4 p.m. Pacific on the Schmodown Entertainment Network channel. The awards happen for the tw our 2019 uh, season or 2020 season. Excuse me. Wow. Skipped a whole year. Uh, 2020 season. The 2020 awards are happening tomorrow. Be there. Um, and I will just say to this, Jeff, just uh, hang tight, Jeff. Hang tight, Jeff. Um, mm. we'll see you guys in the next couple days. So for POV for Jill, Brian, Molly, and myself, thank you so much for hanging out with us and rookies. Good luck on everything. And then, uh, we'll see you guys next time.